<laughs> Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Keeping Candles Mysterious. We are Lawful Stupid, and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play some of the Candle Keep Mysteries module with a few additions sprinkled in. My name is Buddy, and I'm helming this adventure while our normal Saturday night game, Cold Hard Witch, is on hiatus. If you've joined us for our other ventures into Candle Keep, you might notice some new and old faces. Let's see who we have here tonight, shall we? Tonight, we have Lee playing Carolus, a Yuan T pureblood warlock of the genie. And unlike DM Peter, I can actually say Carolus. If that, if you don't get that joke, watch Monday's episode of Strife of the Chosen. Uh, Rodney playing Cesar, the human Tempest cleric. Nathan playing Bertram, the half orc paladin monk. Mama Distracted playing Keed Aridani, the centaur star druid. And joining our group is Evadaris, who is playing Alexander, the half elf spirit bard. Next week, will there be another new player joining us? Hmm, more mysteries. How is everyone tonight? Good, good. My burrito is on the way. Good. <laughs> Last week, our band of adventurers was given an assignment by Master Sage Tomris, their handler for unofficial candlekeep business. She presented them with a diary of a servant named Sarah, whose ghost seems to not be at rest and who has become tied to the book. Reading the book told the story of a young woman who was taught to read and write by her mistress, who chronicled her daily routine and shopping lists, and who saw her master become increasingly obsessed with an evil tome called Retribution of the Ancients. Thomas wants them to recover the book for proper storage at Handlekeep and get to the bottom of Sarah's fate. The party traveled to the nearest port where they found their colleague Bertram, who was assisting a group of refugees. They boarded the ship Dead Reckoning and set sail for Waterdeep. Along the way, they shot the breeze with some pirates, but ultimately arrived safely in Waterdeep Harbor. Uh, hashtag yeet that pirate. Uh, we begin tonight with our party relaxing in the Dragon's Guile Tavern. They have safely delivered their refugees and decided to have a bite to eat before continuing with their mission. Inside, they caught the attention of a half-elf who's been delighting the crowd with some card tricks. We join them now as Alexander Moonlight performs a Taroka reading for the group while many of the bar patrons watch with great anticipation. Uh, Alexander, will you please describe yourself for the stream? So, uh, Alexander is your average looking half-elf, uh, somewhat of a tan complexion having traveled the weary roads in the Forgotten Realms, he uh, he finds himself with a uh, long, dark coat with a top hat that has been slightly crooked to the side of himself. Uh, he's wearing some nice khaki pants and a pair of very worn dress shoes. No, dress boots, I, I'm sorry. Um, as he sits down at the table to do his uh, reading for the tavern. Very well. Uh, you may begin your uh, your reading for the uh, the group of adventurers who are, who are who are definitely enamored of your skills so far. All righty then. So some people like to believe that I am a charlatan and a card's going to pop out of my hand to reveal the charlatan card. Other people, the card will disappear. Like to call me a temptress with fate. But in all honesty, I truly am. And I'm going to shuffle up the deck once, twice, three times. And then I'm going to flip over the top card, not stacking anything, letting the cards be themselves. A upright... Avenger. Life has led me down a road that can have me help those who no longer can help themselves. So that way they might not rise again and destroy their own legacies. They can rest in peace having another take care of themselves. Now in my past, I was once a young, charming rogue doing all the things that individuals might do in their young age, wooing every person 
over there, over here, even finding myself in the arms of a shadow hag. Till I came across this wonderful deck that you see here in my hands. Off to the right of the uh, first card that I revealed, I will be putting down the presence, which will be shown by the seer card. Ah, now these cards are just being cheeky. They're being cheeky because they're telling you what I am doing now. I'm seeing what is about to happen and what has already come in the past. However, the other thing about this card is that it also stands for a powerful and unexpected ally to those in need of an ally. Now, for the future, we've seen the past, the present, and now the shepherd. Trustworthy friends apparently lie ahead in my future, and they will become very loyal in time. Now, as to who these individuals are, I don't quite know, but the cards always know. Now, the next card I'm going to reveal is what might happen along the way that will possibly change my future, what I have to overcome. Mmm. It seems that I have flipped over the tax collector. Oh, I've seen visions of this man before in my previous time when I've done these readings in recent weeks. It's a man of wealth with many partners. I've seen him with an elf and in yellow. The color yellow stands out for him for some reason. You uh, you hear just a, a, a laugh amongst the crowd. Oh, well, that could be anyone. Oh, I, I eat the tax collector too. Uh, just kind of some some random mutterings. Um, do uh, does does the party have any any thoughts so far? I care less. I mean, these cards, the artwork on these cards is is absolutely amazing. Are you, yeah, are you tempted to, uh, Very to to try to grab them or? Uh... Oh no, I'm not a thief. <laughs> okay, okay. I would love to have a look. Yeah, I'll go and have a look. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. You may continue, Alexander. Now. Unlike what most readers might do and leave it only at the five cards here for a basic cross, we're going to extend ourselves. We're going to look at the beginning of things and I'm going to reveal to all of you the upside down Druid and place it down amongst the cards. Ah, so... It appears something unnatural started me off on this journey. Again, I've seen a lord in yellow and always behind him. It appears to be some monstrous, bulbous, many-armed fangs being. It seems to have tentacles and whatnots. So an upside down druid that goes against the laws of nature makes perfect sense in the beginning. Many cries and, and gasps from the crowd around you, and some of them are starting to get a little freaked out, and the crowd begins to thin uh, just a little bit. Uh, a few, gonna, fewer people watching. I'm tapping uh, Cesar on the, on the shoulder and nodding at what he's saying. Do you Interesting. think? Maybe? I mean, his readings seem accurate. I don't know if it may, hard maybe, hard maybe. <laughs> hard maybe. That's Wait. my favorite new phrase ever, Cesar. Uh, please continue, Wait. Alexander. Like pictures. You believe in this stuff, Caesar? Fortune telling and sailing the ocean go hand in hand because you can never tell what the ocean's gonna do. You need something with a higher power with an with the more of a sight than you have to help predict your wares and where you're going. 
That's I mean, not... I guess I don't necessarily disagree with that, but I don't know if a deck of cards is going to give you those kind of answers. Just Would you add him roll to bones? Do you have any more cards? <laughs> I do have more cards. For those who don't wish to believe me, the next card shows the near past. Not quite as of yesterday or a week ago, but several years, if not more. And I'll flip over the next card. And the next card reveals an innocent, ah, innocent little girl. Ah, the poor innocent. She wished for no ill in this world, only to improve herself. Somehow employed by this man in yellow. Now, this next card is of more recent. And I flip over an upright ghost. Ah, no, 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 no. I talk to these fuckers every day. Who in this room by chance does not deal with the aberrations on a daily basis? Raise your hand, raise it high. I've never seen a ghost in my life. I mean, we... I've seen ghosts, but I mean, we're not running into them every day. Have you seen a ghost within recent history, such as a week before, since the last full moon? I I, Sarah. That's about it. Yeah, Sarah. I, can't, I mean, I I don't even know who that is, so I guess I can't say I have. <laughs> Was Sarah yeah. by chance? When was the last full moon? It was. He didn't know this. It was about 18 days ago. All right. At, at the talk of ghosts, the kind of remainder of the crowd who had been watching just kind of. <laughs> Who hasn't seen ghosts recently? <laughs> and they kind of move away and go back to their own, uh, their own, their own doings. Uh, so it is now really just, just the five of you uh, for the the final portion of this presentation. Let me go ahead and reveal these next three cards. They, hmm, how to say this? are other outcomes besides the shepherd. And if you remember, the shepherd foretells me making great friends that are very loyal, and clearly you all at least have stayed until this point, unlike the rest of the crowd. Now, the first card I will show is an alternative, alternative future that might come to pass. Should we not be able to stop the tax collector in yellow? And I'll flip over a upside down uh, anarchist to you all and place it down at the very top of the reading pile. With an upside down anarchist, many things can happen. Unfortunately, none of them are good for us. Had it been right side up, rebellions and civilizations a new grow. Upside down, it foretells the end of civilizations as we know them all to be like wizards and stuff. Wizards. Just the ending of days, the gods walking their planes on this mortal ground. You name it, we're all fucked. That's what this one normally means. 
The next one, I'll flip over a upside down dictator card. Ah, this is another beautiful outcome, just like the shepherd. We defeat the tax collector and we all live merry, happy lives. And whoever other innocents might have been sacrificed are saved. It's perfect. Ah, I, you know what? I really don't want to flip over this other card. Between these two, I like that one the most. Do we get to rob him? No, please flip the last card. <laughs> the next card I reveal is a necromancer. Hmm, this one is always difficult to decide what it means. Because in one hand, we saved the day by killing the master, I believe. The puppet master behind everything going on. However, it could also mean he slightly succeeds in whatever's about to be unleashed by his unnatural creature is still going to destroy everybody. But you know what? We at least killed the tax collector. So little column A, little column B. You, you tell me. is So what I'm getting is... Do we still get paid? Master Tomnus is a tax collector and we need to kill her to get paid. Nope, no, no, no. Master Tomnus don't Ooh. wear yellow. Oh. The, the, the man, the yellow man, what did kill the girl is the tax collector. What girl? I should, I should probably clarify for all of you. Just because the tax collector card comes up does not mean they're a tax collector. It means they're a very powerful and wealthy individual as most tax collectors kind of are. But he still wears yellow. Yes. You seem to be obsessed with the color yellow. I was catching a lot of yellow. Oh, wait, hold on. I know in the, in the thing, the, 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 cre the yellow crest is what the man, what the man had, what the man said. Oh, we're talking about did. Sarah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sorry, I was lost in the pictures. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and scoop up my cards now. I I'm like, uh, trying, okay. I'm going to try to like look at them <laughs> while he's trying to put them away. The other cards that I normally see when I do this reading are the broken one, which tells me that an important item may be broken, yet still of use should we find a proper use for it. I've seen it both upright and upside down, which when that happens back to back, they kind of counterbalance whatever is going to happen for it. I'll also just kind of flick out two more cards in my from my wrist um, and show the mist and the artifacts. The other two things that have popped up very recently, and I mean like, I did this maybe Two weeks ago. That's how long it's taken me to get over here. Is that fast roads hold a lot of danger and can lead to ruin, which is why I took the long way to Waterdeep. Or, and I'll show the artifact card. All the things must be entombed as you see like a skull captured in a beautiful goblet in the picture. These are the things the cards have told me. And these are the things I shall share with all of you should we be destined to tally forth on, did you say Sarah's redemption? Is this the name of the ghost that I've been picking up from all of your side comments? Well, ask the cards. Well then. <laughs> Taro, you gotta work for me, buddy. You gotta work for me. I shuffle up the deck and I flip over 
he pulls a Sarah card, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out the innocence card again. Well, if what you say about little Miss Sarah matches with an innocence, I do believe we are on the same track together, whether you really like it or not. I believe it. If he reads pictures, I believe him. I like pictures. (laughs) I get a lot of stories from my pictures. Bertram, you... uh... As, as, as Bertram, as, as this is kind of finishing up, you hear behind you someone say, Holy shit, bruh. Oh, and you turn and look, and, and Mick Featherlight is, uh, is, is, is behind your table, and he has your, your mug, now. your mug in his hand. Uh, oh, bruh, here, man. I, thanks for, thanks for letting me have this, but I, I don't think that thing works right, man. I, I, I spent like 25 gold in, in drinks and it, it just never happened for me so i glued a new cup inside it and it works great now and sure enough there's a in your mug of uh of cancel alcohol or whatever it was called there's there's a, another <laughs> glass glued down inside of it works uh works it works a charm now got uh hey i uh i guess i guess that's you, but i'll catch you guys here? later uh, on a boat isn't that what you guys did? Yeah, but we left you in the water. No, he wasn't. He was on the dock. You know, there there are more boats, right? Oh yeah. He was on the shore. He, I mean, he was at the dock. He wasn't in the water. We finally just got here about two seconds ago. <laughs> oh, it's been it's been a few hours. Damn it. Um. Uh, <laughs> the uh 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 oh. Some really, really weird lady uh, gave me this note to give to you guys. Um, I, I she uh, she creeped me the hell out, dude. She had some some f- some fugly teeth. Uh, uh, here, uh, and he hands Bertram. There's a, a sealed note that he hands to you. Uh, I uh, I I got I gotta go, guys. Uh, Shaka. And then he heads off. Shaka. 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 I'm looking for my spell list right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I should have prepped you guys for uh, the the laws in Waterdeep. Oh, uh, stand by, Pike. Well. Oh, hey. All right, Cesar. Hold on to this for me. I'll hand you this tankard that is effectively ruined <laughs> no 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 i can get it, i can get it out like knife and just like trans- <laughs> yeah it might not be, be sovereign glue i mean why would mickey have sovereign glue come on yeah i mean he would i don't know where he gets this stuff all right let me crack this note and see what's in it it says i'm behind you <laughs> i mean maybe you can make more sense out of this than i can Is it a is it's, it a rhyme or is it? No, it's decidedly cryptic. Uh, I'll just read it out loud. Don't let that burden get the better of you. The weight of truth can be inescapable. Signed with the letter N. Don't let that burden get the better of you. The weight of truth, man. Which burden are they talking about? Do they I don't mean, know. We got do so they many mean, burdens. Do they mean oh. Mickey? <laughs> is he a burden uh, on all of you? He seems not, perfectly fine to me, and this no, is my no, first interaction. No, uh, that's just, less everyone, of a burden and more of a minor annoyance. But everyone except for Alexander, please roll a history check. Yeah, history. Oh, great. not great. Uh, oh, I thought I had a plus two, but I haven't. I got a zero. Uh, I'm pretty sure I, I've got a negative one. I got a dirty twenty. Yes, at least one of us done well. Yes, I I am super. So Cesar, you clock this as well, but not as as keenly as Keed does. Oh, you remember wow. a, a week ago, um, before you set sail to come here, the the one thing the creepy lady that walked over your table said. She looked right at your bag, and she said, "My, that's a heavy burden that you carry." And she was looking right at your bag, oh, where yeah. you had the book stashed. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I am going to double check that the book is still there. Oh, wait, <laughs> no, it's not there anymore because it's in... Um, ah, yes, that's true. I almost said it was, in, but you're right, it's not there. It's, it is... What's in the box? It's, it's in the lamp. In the, the box in the lamp. <laughs> Chest, whatever. It, it's in the lamp. Uh, it's like a Russian nesting doll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does anyone remember that awful woman's name? What did she call herself? I don't remember anyone's name. She didn't give us her name. That's probably why. If she said it, I mm. didn't hear it. I was distracted by her awful teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if she had them Are, sharpened. Could you all describe her just a, just a little bit more? Did she have long flowing black hair with these gnarly teeth goblin teeth I, goblin I say, teeth. really i can't remember anything besides the we were actively trying not teeth. to look at her so she walked up and everyone did one of these have you ever seen a piranha a piranha yeah, that's a great teeth. way to describe uh, it i see a piranha mouth. oh oh you all spoke with nancy <laughs> nancy I want to count insight. Did he just make that up? Uh, roll it up and see. Oh, God. Five. Uh, you're still kind of enamored about those cards. Nancy. That, uh, that checks out. And who is Nancy? Well, it was that lady. Come no, on, I want him. I want, <laughs> I, I want him to tell me. Nancy is someone I have. You remember when I said it? In my younger days, I wooed oh, a lot no. of people. You're nasty. You're nasty. You're, you're nasty. You know what you did? Oh, you're nasty. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, I Cesar, you've been in port for many, many times. You uh, And you know, and I'm a nasty too. I could call him as I see him because <laughs> I know what I am. <laughs> I'm so upset that I gave you inspiration last week because I would have just given you inspiration then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, she was using a disguise, and I was and a gum shield. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to each their own. I'm not gonna describe it. I'll let you imagine it. <laughs> uh, as I said, piranha. Yeah, okay. Let's just leave that there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Three, three more hours of this, folks. You've <laughs> logged in on a good night to watch. All right. Uh, here, let me see if I can fix that mug. Yeah, I mean, take a take a shot at it. All right, take a shot uh, at it. Who's got a pistol? Mm, not what I had in mind, but at this point, who cares? It's broken anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, who yeah. who is this Nancy? And is she is she here? Is she frequent here or? Yeah, I really want to know what we've gotten ourselves into at this point. I, I would like to look around to make sure Nancy is not around. Did uh, she follow roll, us here? I'm a, roll looking perception. around to shoot. Eight. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't see her, but I mean, there's there's kind of a lot of traffic going on, and you're a little Wait, bit. You said out. she could disguise herself. Now, where? Oh. How do we know she's not here? How do we know you're not Nazi? Open your mouth. Uh. <laughs> oh, if, he's dis if she's disguised. If I could, uh. let, let me touch your teeth. <laughs> I'll pull out a card real fast. <laughs> and it is the, uh, the beggar. And I'll just cast disguise self on myself and make myself look like Nancy. I oh, knew it. I love it. I knew it. Uh, it is and her. I will use my one free daily use of disguise self for that. <laughs> I can't spell it. <laughs> no, I don't really. Uh, I mean, and, it, so if he disguises himself as Nancy, is this in fact the woman with the nasty teeth that approached us last time? Uh, it, it definitely looks like her for sure. All See, right. it, he is her. 
I don't think he's discussed the sky itself. I just think he's cancelled his disguise self. Mm -hmm. Definitely doesn't smell like this woman, dude. And then I'm going to drop it. Because I'm not her. I'm not. Come on, guys. Have you ever... Did you interact with her for more than, like, 30 minutes? No. No. She said hi, and we peaced out. Good. That's what you need to do when you speak with Nancy. So why would you try why to did... romance her then? Tell me this whole story. Who is Nancy? Is she dangerous? And what you do? And why is she following us? <laughs> why has she got teeth like that? I don't know if she... Oh, I remember. I mentioned that she could be like a you auntie type, you know. Nancy, I have affectionately re referred to as negative Nancy. Uh, and, you know, she she's the reason I can do some of the things that I can do, such as read the cards very well. Um, and, you know, when she touched me, I felt a really cold chill inside of me and... I was really drunk. I can't. I can't lie. I. But if you bedded her, you let her touch you. <laughs> I did. That means you liked the cold. Well, it was a hot never summer said, night. He never said it was in a bed either. I mean, it was a hot summer night. It's not the moon like it was, was high. In small. <laughs> Listen, I, we don't. We don't need to hear any more of the the lurid details. Have just, you got any pictures? Is, is no, he does <laughs> not have pictures. I'll flick out put the, the cards. Put the card cards. Head. Put the cards in the positions you was in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I just need to know if this woman's going to try to murder us in our sleep. I don't like that. That's a yes. That's a that's a quick yes or no answer. And the fact that you're thinking about it, it's not. <laughs> means it's a yes. <laughs> it, it depends. It depends on the day of the month. So oh. I think. She's a woman. So if she's in season, <laughs> she's more aggressive. Yeah. And since she sent us a letter and she talked to you guys the other day. um, Yeah. I'll just put it that way. Yeah. Don't worry. No one should be dying around us if you're near me. Oh, you're new here. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't... I'll, I'll look through the cards again. <laughs> I didn't realize that was in the cards. That one didn't show up during that last <laughs> reading. <laughs> yes, it did. The anarchy upside down? Yeah, that one. That one. That's all, that's all of us, too. In an, in an effort to bring this back on the tracks, your uh, <laughs> your your tiefling waitress uh, Cecily comes back over. Uh, that that was that that was amazing uh, with the cards. Uh, can I can I get uh, anyone anything anything else? I'll take the strongest drink you have for what's about to come my way. <sighs> okay, okay. Uh, anyone else? Yes. Just some beer, I think. I'll have an owl. Nancy. Uh, no, no, I'm I'm Cecily. Oh, okay. I thought you were in disguise. Keed, have you made any uh, progress on that tankard yet? Um, I am going to attempt to shatter the glass that's inside of it. Ooh, tell me how you're going to do that. Hmm. I'm going to take one of the uh, heavy knives that came with the meal and I'm mm -hmm. banging it around on the inside of it. Uh, okay. Uh, I drink from that. It fits roll, fine. Roll You'll me a... You don't really have sleight of hand. Uh, just roll me a general dex check, please. General dex? Thank you. Funny that I've got no spells. That's five. <laughs> um, I'm drinking you... glass, folks. Yeah, you no, definitely... you're not drinking from it yet. You definitely break uh, 
you break something, but it looks more like maybe the tip of the knife. Perhaps these knives are not as quality as you had initially hoped. Mm. Okay, then I am going to hand the just, knife. Just hand and it. Just then... hand it back. Just hand it back. I'll just drink water out of it. It's fine. Uh, use this but, knife. I'll no, hand you, my you asked. You're handing who the dagger? You, my, my magical dagger. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm going to take the dagger and I'm going to try to smash the glass that's inside of it. No, Keith, okay. it's really not worth it. Roll, roll another a general dex check. Not a save. This is a, a dex check, not a oh, save. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> 16. 16. Yeah, so you, uh, you ably end up shattering it and it, in classic Mickey fashion, he didn't really glue the whole glass in. It's only a little bit of glue kind of at the rim. Pretty bubble gum. <laughs> no, it's glue, but it's it's really weak. Uh, just kind of generic glue. Uh, but yeah, you so you shatter and like all but the, the tiniest rim of glass just pours out on the table because you didn't declare where you wanted to put it. Um, yeah, it would, would have been in the empty plate on the table. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, then yeah, you could you could spend another couple of minutes just kind of chipping the glass and glue away, and uh, three or four more minutes, and, and it'll be presumably perfectly good for that Bertram. That is what I am going to do. And and Bertram, you're you're and, and you're like, no, you don't have to, you don't have to do that. She, most of the glass is suddenly out, and she is working on the last little bit uh, in straight order. Well, that. Thank you. Just, I, thank you. And thank you from me for you not trying to mold druid craft into something you could use for that. So many players try to mold I, druid I craft mean, into... <laughs> it, into... I, I could yes. have. <laughs> I, no, I could have cut off the handle of the, of the tankard and created a new mug from that true and i'm glad that you didn't try to use druid craft that way uh yeah so cecily brings brings more drinks over sees a plate full of glass and is the oh uh, is anyone are you finished with this is someone still eating it uh, uh, this the, plate no no the this salt plate, in the margarita I'm... was real was real harsh so we had to take it off oh I, well i'm very sorry i i'll See if no, I, can I am trying to fix something. There was glass stuck in something, and that's what this is. Oh my I'm goodness! I'll done. definitely Please get you don't. a discount then. I'll definitely get you a discount. And she scoops up the plate of glass Thank and you. rushes off no, up we, to the bartender. Thank you. All right. You're very kind of you. All right, Alexa Alexander. What do you think about this new group of? <laughs> <laughs> For the record, I don't approve, but I'm not gonna argue either. <laughs> You have one friend that fucks shit up and then you get a discount because of his one shit? What? That's good. Mm -hmm. oh. Mickey is not our friend. Don't you ever say that Yeah, again. no, Adrian, we don't like him. He keeps showing up. You're not associated with us. Oh, no, him, uh, no. Can I have a look okay. at your cards? It, 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 no, you, you can't look at Taro. Um... And Did you just refer to so... the whole deck by name? Yeah. Yeah, this like... is... I hold up the I hold up the deck. Yeah, this is Taro. He's my friend. He helps. I look at Bertram. I just turn and look at Bertram. <laughs> okay. I think we'd be better off with Nancy. <laughs> oh, don't say her name. Don't say it too much. We've already said it a lot. You say her name uh, 17 I, I, uh, times, she appears. Say, <laughs> I'm just going to say, you just time. said it like 10 times. I know, but my time's already coming. I know it. Oh. I'm warning you all now. <laughs> and like that's, a, not the, okay, that's not so, the first time. Uh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> so that means you've got to go rent a skull out. Got it. <laughs> you can borrow mine, I guess. <laughs> that was a race, that punchline, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm. um, 
But no, Taro is the one who helped me, uh, helps me get away from Nancy. Um, damn it. Yeah, so, look around. <laughs> you stole the, you stole that deck of cards from her. More like a You did. You, yes. did, you did. You did. You just said that she helped you learn how to read those. A lot. High five. On um, mage hands. A high five. Oh, I'll, I'll do the same on my hand. <laughs> I like this one. I like this one. You won't in a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, when he counterspells you or uh, banishes, <laughs> banishes you. you. Not <laughs> oh, she kicked me first. You insulted me. You kicked me first. I banished you to the plane of fire. You have been insulting me this whole two weeks. No, I'm hold my tar up to my ear. <laughs> well, I'm gonna need a much stronger drink so, if I'm gonna deal so, with all of yeah, this. So, so Caesar, what are we here? What are we here for? <laughs> right, so we're here in Waterdeep. We gotta find wherever the Yellow Crest Manor is, right, and then investigate there to see what the whole um. Yeah, didn't let me check me note. Why don't we just uh, get the cards to answer it? The the retribution of the ancients is going on. So we got to find the yellow crest. It's, it's in the manor. Manor, house, teen, I don't, I, I think so. All right. Is this a knock on the door type type deal? Or is this a wait till dark and try to break in type deal? It, it, it's us. So it's, it's, it's probably option two, <laughs> if I'm thinking about it right. I mean, I mean, knocking, I prefer knocking. I don't because know if anyone wants to down option. our <laughs> server. <laughs> yeah, Cecily, Cecily comes over. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is there something else wrong? I, I, I talked to the bartender. I, I think, I think it'll be okay. No, first of all, the, the glass was not yours mm -hmm. or anyone in this establishment's fault except for that surfer dude. Uh, Mickey. Yes, he's the one who caused it. You got, I'll pay the bill. Don't worry about any discounts or anything like that. Well, um, well Mickey, Mickey's already picked up the tab for the whole bar tonight. Oh. Oh, good. I don't okay. know why y'all don't like him. He's my new best friend. I'm starting to like him purely because I think he's very, very rich. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I the best friends of friends. had a question, please. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yes. The, the specials again or, or another drink? Something outside of the bar, actually. Would uh, you like on know... the patio? Would Would you like to move your table to the patio? Is it warm? No. I was wondering if you could tell us where we might either locate the yellow. What's it called again? Crest. Crest. Yellow. Crest. Yellow yeah, yellow. The yellow crest manor, or somebody who knows something about the yellow crest manor. Oh, well, yes. Uh, gosh, it's such a sad story. I, I, I don't know if there's anyone here that doesn't know about the tragedy at, at Yellowcrest Manor. That's oh, it's so sad. Um, uh, uh, yes, the, uh, the, 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 the Yellowcrest uh, lived uh, in, in the North Ward and uh, Lord Vialis and Lady Maria and uh, they had two cute little sons, Malik and Janice, and one daughter who's named Tiana. And oh, she was beautiful. And, and their, their servants were all so nice. And it, uh, it, 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 it was, they were such a nice family. She seems to be a little bit kind of lost in thought and sadness at that. She kind of trails off a little. So who was Sarah? Did you tell I us Sarah was his daughter. Sarah oh was no, Sarah was one of his daughter. servants. Uh, uh. Could you tell us what happened to the to the Lord of the, the Yellow Crest Manor? Uh, well, I um, I I don't, I I don't know that anyone knows. He he had been away on business, uh, and returned to find uh, his wife and and his two sons and his daughter, and and the four servants had been d brutally murdered. murdered. Um, he it just fell into a deep depression and uh, and and left left Waterdeep 
Um, and and is, is he no longer lives here. So what about the manor? Well, he didn't take that. That's that's still in the north ward. Oh, I know. But does anyone live there? Uh yes, but I I don't know who. Some someone bought it. Everything just went up for sale one day, and it's no longer has a for sale sign. So I'm sure someone bought it. It's conveniently. Do people not buy things that are for sale where you're from? Oh, no, no. Oh, yes. Oh. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, can I <laughs> get anyone anything else? Are you, are you mocking? She's, she's thoroughly she's thoroughly confused. No, she's absolutely confused at, at the, the up and down of this conversation. About the banisher to the like, platform. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Jesus, please do. We're in water deep and it's going to be bad news <laughs> I'll take a, oh wait you I'll, said I'm sorry go ahead I'll take uh, two more of your strongest strengths I feel like I'm gonna need them oh yes of course uh, anyone else I'll have no dessert. I'm good <laughs> oh I'll I'll bring you a dessert menu thank you I'm, I'm good thank you I uh, uh, okay cheesecake and she uh, <laughs> she she you know, heads off back off toward the bar. All right, so there we go to the north ward and Scooby Doo our way into someone's house. Who's Scooby Doo? I'm with uh, him. There was a man. He was a rogue, and he went around investigating mysteries. Oh. <laughs> you are on fire tonight, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Menu. Yeah, I was just so waiting. What time? You guys can you guys can sit and look at each other in silence for a minute, and then she'll come back and. She no, what time two... of day is what time of day is it? Uh, we'll see. It's it's like mid to uh, mid to late afternoon. It, it it took a while to get all of your uh, your refugees off the boat and sorted and make sure that they were in in good hands and uh, and, and and such. So it's it's been it's it's been a little while. So it, it's it's mid afternoon. Right. So do we expect anyone to be home when we go to this manor? Probably. Are, are you asking me or are you asking your No, party? sorry. I'm asking oh, sorry, everyone. Sorry. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I don't know. Probably. So so the story the story here around with the people is that he came home and found his family killed. Cyrus is he went mad opening up the portal to hell and killed everyone. I'm thinking with the place kind of haunted like that, it is going to be boarded up and no one's going to be home. Or unless he's yeah. home, having lied about skipping town. And if he's home, do we really care about surprising him? How much do we care about this guy? We're here, we're helping Sarah, right? Y yes, but he is the one that opened he, the, the... Wait, what's the thing he did? He's the necromancer, isn't really. he? He's the one that did the retribution yeah. of the ancients, unleashing some sort of terrible, evil... Tin. So if he is home, we should be a little worried about it. <laughs> yeah, but that's what we I'm saying. Were, we don't have to. We don't have to be. We don't have to be polite. Like if he's there, we were asked there, then, to help assist sure. with justice. Well, she just said someone had bought the house, so I don't, I don't just, buy it. Just kill the person that yeah. bought it. Then. No, it, no. It's you all returned. have a very strange <laughs> turn of morals at this table. I don't know how to read any of you right now. <laughs> that's, that's how that's, we that's, like it. That those are, that's the mystery of Candlekeep, Alexander. <laughs> um, she returns your with cards. your with your drinks and and with the dessert menu, which is it is it is a giant kind of piece of paper, and just in the middle, it just says cheesecake. <laughs> I love. I look around. You're gonna need four, nine portions of cheesecake. Not ooh, oh, 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 okay. I guess. Ah, uh, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Mickey's picking up the tap. Yeah, I've got her. Up. <laughs> I've got her eat up because I've got to go to this town called Avernus, and apparently the food is shit. <laughs> <laughs> Strife of the chosen. I, I, um... I, I do actually say that. <laughs> oh, do you? Wait. But, but that's so late. So if I'm now, getting a couple of months. I'm getting four slices of cheesecake. Who's getting the extra? I know. I, that was a joke. That was me ordering for myself. You can have some. 
<laughs> Do you like cheesecake? What have you gotten me into? Does I, does Taro like cheesecake? Has Taro told Smear you about the hundred all over piece. the cards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think? It's a deck of cards. I, so, so yes, yes. <laughs> Has Taro told you about the 100 gold piece buy-in for this group? <laughs> I want to incite that. <laughs> All right, let's I, I can deception that. Let's uh, pose rolls. I don't even need to roll. Oh. <laughs> uh, can you fail on a one? Uh, not technically. I'd like to All see right. what, your, okay. what your roll well, is. The thing is, mm. even if I roll a one, I beat it. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, it's not something you've heard of before, but it unfortunately does seem legit. I'm going to kind of look at the rest of the table, see if I can and possibly you know discern. On a, on, a, on, a one, on a one, they have not betrayed Careless's lie because it's a one. Uh, there's nothing I can do for you on that. <laughs> Aren't we all trying to help a dead person? All right, you know what? Sure, fine. It, you've all done weird things today. Why am I surprised by this one? And I'll pull out a hundred coin and, and I'll give it to him. <laughs> Just gonna look at Carolus. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it was, oh, it was 50. <laughs> Cecily returns with, and she actually has a couple of helpers and, and each, each portion is on its own like special plate with its own special little fork. And she has a little trouble finding room for, for nine plates on your small table with all of your drinks and stuff, but she manages. Um, Just I spoon. take four plates. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, um, any, uh, can I get anyone anything? Or are you good for a little while? Uh, uh, miss, excuse me. Who did you say purchased Yellowcrest Manor? Uh, I, I, I don't, uh, I, I, I didn't because I, I don't know who it was, but I mean, it's, it's been several years ago that someone purchased it or several years since it's been for sale at least. There's no rumors of anyone going in or out. Uh, no, but I would imagine that people go in and out of it. Um, but I don't. Uh, I, I don't know of any of anything. She's 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 trying to rack her brain because she's seeing kind of a. A, a, a nice tip coming from this table and she is still kind of I, I was just Alexander's thinking it was like reading. I was like oh no no I get it hold on I, I start digging in my coin purse does this help you remember I yes I get it oh we're bribing her uh no she, it, she, Carolus, I've seen I've seen this that usually they pretend not to know and then the, they like give you like a wink wink nudge nudge and you hand them a gold and then all of a sudden they remember here I hand her she, gold coin. How to see? She she takes the coin and she says, uh, uh, "Well, uh, thank you, but I I I, I honestly I, I don't I don't know who has bought it and, and anything about them." And she hands you the coin back. I, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could wish I could be of more help. I, You've got to pay the, the the city guard had had said at the time that maybe it was some sort of cult activity, but. After the killings, uh, no details came out, and it, it, no suspects were identified or charged. And I mean, it, it's it's not as though the house is under observation or or quarantine or anything. I mean, it, I think just regular people live there. Um, so you if can, it was a cult, maybe they moved out. You can keep that; it's fine. Oh, oh well, thank you. And then she will take it back from you, and and head off to some other customers. Hmm. So, a house possibly full of a cult, possibly empty, possibly full of regular people living their everyday lives. Probably best bet would be to go to like a city hall or something to see a list of residents. 
Can't we just knock on the door? I was just gonna say, I was just gonna go to the door and look inside. Yeah, yeah. that's fine too. <laughs> I mean, they might also have a change of address for for. The last time Someone. we knocked on the just knocked on the door, it went. It turned out pretty okay. We met a dragon. That was nice. Yeah. I wasn't there for that. Did I miss the dragon? No, Cesar, you were there for the dragon. Oh, okay, okay. He's been smoking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, you, de you definitely smell the, the the familiar aromatics of Mickey uh, beginning to course through the bar a little bit. Where did these ships come from? <laughs> that's, that's the glass. Oh, yeah. no, that's the glass. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, so I pick up uh, a piece of cheesecake and I'm like, I'm just, I'm gonna go knock on a door. Is anyone, I don't know, you're not. Is anyone, oh. Yeah, uh -huh. is anyone coming with me? Uh, well, yeah, yes. We'll, we'll go, right. yes. Give me a second and I'm gonna shoot back all the drinks that she's given me. It does, no, don't no, do that. No. Even, Eat I some cheesecake. It's kind of impressive, I passed guys. one of the plates of cheesecake to him. <laughs> Don't worry, Don't it just goes straight me. through me. So we'll make a pit stop on the way to the manor, and then, and then we'll <laughs> knock on the door. <laughs> uh, all right. Yes. Yeah. So you guys are gonna you're gonna exit the bar, and you're gonna. I'm leaving go, a fat tip on this table. You're gonna go to somewhere that you did. Did we actually know. pay for the Where cheesecake? No. No, it's on Mickey's I thought, Mickey did. I was gonna say yeah, your Mi friend got it. I, Mi I'm, Mickey, you're acquainted. According to, according to Cecily, Mickey has a tab open for the whole bar. Currently. I'm still paying attention. As we leave, I just how much tab do you pay? wave to Mickey? Shaka, Mickey, thanks. And you, and you just a huge cloud of smoke, and you hear him yell back, <laughs> Shaka! Woo! <laughs> He's mostly harmless. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving 10 gold on the table as a tip. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Cecily will, uh, will will chase you down and go, I, I'm, 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 you, you left this, uh, you left all this coinage on the table, sir. Take, take it, or the, or the man who wants the pictures will take it. I, it's better in your hands. Oh, my, my goodness. She's visibly overcome with, 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 uh, with emotion and, and thanks you profusely. Uh, all right, so out into the the streets, my friends. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So, wait. So which? <laughs> Y'all have been saying north. Is that what she, she said? said? The north quarter. The north ward. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. North ward. The uh, no the great thing is that all of you, as you step outside, suddenly remember just how big Waterdeep is when uh, when you step back outside. So you guys currently did we are, uh, suddenly remember that we have inspiration thanks to Patros? Yeah, I was gonna mention. You know that. what? We've, we've <laughs> just been gifted <laughs> five hundred bits for Pat draws. Thank you very much, Pat. Much appreciated. Um, we we did not mention that. So. Uh, are we gonna roll for that? Yeah. Well, you... All right. Here comes. Uh, you mean to roll the just the inspire button? Uh, I don't have it in your one. I don't think. Uh oh. You know what? Mine it doesn't have the right players. Everyone just roll a d twenty unless you already have d twenty inspiration. So Cesar, you are. Oh okay. Yeah, I'm out. Super. Oh, Ooh, we'll beat you big, by one. It's a big nine for me. Keyed with a 13. Mm. Oh, wrong one. Mm -hmm. did, did you roll, Alexander? I did. It did not go over where I needed it to go, though. So give you me one an, second. I, yeah, I'll eight. do it this way. Or I'll take the eight. Whichever one you would rather do, I'll go with the eight personally. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Then, uh, then it looks like Keed is the winner of that uh, D twenty. Congratulations! Is that right? Ooh. Yep. Congratulations, Keed. Thank you very much, Pat Draws. Thank you, Pat Draws. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Um. So you guys are. This is a sick kind of, map, by the way. Yeah. Thank you. This is actually from the uh, uh, Dragon Heist module. Waterdeep oh, Dragon Heist. Oh, nice. 
So you guys are down here uh, at the lower end of the dock ward where I have my my ping going. Yes. And the uh, the north ward is way up here in this region. Oh, yeah. It's a hike. It's a bit of a hike, but but I mean, you guys can make it. It's it's probably, you know, an hour's walk. Be kind of getting into, my you know, late really afternoon hurts, or early Keed. evening. My stomach really hurts, Keed. You ate too much cheesecake. Yeah, I don't know if I can walk. <laughs> uh, then you can go back to our rooms. Oh, that's you don't have rooms yet. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any rooms. Well, then I guess you're SOL. I'm just amazed he ate five whole cheesecakes on his own. <laughs> no, no, I ate four. I, he had nine. Yeah, Careless, you can you can literally fly, Careless. You don't have to walk. I'll walk. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, if if you if you notice on there, there's a kind of a wide uh, road that is almost leads you the whole way there, and that is certainly the the fastest uh, yeah. road. The um, the. But Buddy, have we had a chance to rest since our battle with the pirates? Yeah, yeah, that okay. that was a couple that was a couple of days ago. So you guys okay. are all are all chimed up and full unless Carolus has been using his magics for for fun and distraction. For yeah. banishing uh, <laughs> banishing <laughs> <laughs> random civilians. <laughs> uh well it, it uh, Jade is playing Carolus, who happens to be Carolus. Pat draws. Yes. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so unless you've, you've uh, this roast beef is cold, banish. Unless you've used your magics in frivolous ways, you're all uh, you're all up to snuff. Uh, even you, Alexander. Today I'm fine. So yeah, the uh, again the the fast road is kind of that main concourse that goes through. After about ten minutes, I start complaining that my feet are hurting. <laughs> Does anything on the street kind of catch our eye as we're going down? I mean, been here for a little bit, but I don't know if that alley looks good. That alley looks good. Like, I don't know who I'm looking out for. Well, roll me a perception. Uh, it's it's hard to, to, to say if you see anything, if you're going to be that nebulous about it. <laughs> well, um, I'm doing much better here than when looking for you know who. Yes, yes. Um, no, it just it's it's kind of bustling. It's moving into that that end of day where folks are kind of getting off work, and so the the crowd is is beginning to thicken a bit. Um, but uh, but yeah, in, in general, you don't feel kind of ill at at ease about anything. You guys gonna keep. Keep heading yes. north yep. toward the north mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, all right. So, yeah, you guys, uh, you know, it takes a little over an hour. It's a little bit slower getting there the further you get just because of the influx and you you come past kind of the market area and stuff. Um, and then finally, you make your way to the, uh, the north ward. And hold on. I'll switch you over. So many maps. So many maps. Uh, so right here on on the left edge, that is that main street that you uh, that you had been on, coming up mm -hmm. from uh, from from the dock area. Mm -hmm. Everybody, roll a perception check for me, though, please. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Ooh, fourteen, dirty twenty. Ooh, Nine. nineteen. 16. 15. Everyone, everyone except for Keed is keenly aware of the fact that other than the phrase North Ward, none of you really have an address or a street or even an area of the North Ward. You're just kind of walking around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do we know... 
what the like the symbol of the yellow crest manor is because we've seen the book right yeah, yeah the crest it, that's yeah. on the front of it right yeah, yeah which, okay. uh, do i have that in your... yes it, it is in our, in our journal yes it's in our handouts yeah but would would the house still have the symbol on if it's been bought by someone i'm hoping the gate or something does oh, good point. um that's yeah, what so I'm the, doing I, as we're walking around. I'm trying to figure I, I out just, if I see that I just that popped up the, the handout for everyone. So yeah, it is that uh, the 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 tree with the the three gold um, the three gold kind of inset balls on it, wrapped in the the gold frame, with the sun coming up behind it. Um, but it it seems to be that you don't really see kind of anyone's crests anywhere on any any of the the houses or the 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 manners or anything through here it's it's all sorts of kind of smaller houses and larger manners and it's they're all very similar it's kind of like living in the suburbs yeah so is there like since this is like the richer part of town i, I guess are there like people walking around outside or like oh yeah it's all sorts of people I'm they gonna... give they give all of you a little bit of a wide <clears throat> berth not not crazy wide but a little wider than normal I'm gonna I'm gonna stop one of them. You 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 there you you y y yes yes y yeah yeah uh what what you know about Yellowcrest Manor? It, oh what a terrible story that that those ch poor children and and the, all of the women and the servants it's just terrible. That yeah. poor man was shattered after the, after everyone was murdered. It is ter terrible indeed, but do you know where it is? Uh, well, of course. Who doesn't know in Waterdeep where it, where it all happened? Uh, it was right here in the North Ward. Yeah, yeah yes, but um, but the which building did it happen in? Or what what uh, street did it happen in? Oh, it, it's uh, it's just just like two two streets over on Del Zoran Street. Uh, so, thank you. Yeah, so if if you look at the map, you guys are kind of here on on Hessen Tears, just looking at houses and stuff. And she says it's on Del Zoran Street. Yep, which is just like two blocks, like a short block and a long block north of you, which is weird because it's headed in the same direction, mm -hmm. which makes New Yorkers' heads explode. So, I told you, if we would have just kept walking, we would have got there. <laughs> uh do you are you are you accosting her any longer or are you letting her go no i'm letting her go we got a street name <laughs> i bet it's this one awesome got a street <laughs> name still no house <laughs> love it no no it's this one it's the one with the, with the dog in it no it's not that one <laughs> i don't think a dog would be in yeah no I, I, I read realized that as soon as i <laughs> as i said it <laughs> um yeah, so so is that the one that you want to go up here and, and knock on the door at, at yes. this one? No, we want to go to the street and walk down the street. Okay. So you can do that. You can you walk over to it and we'll say that you you pick up here at Whale Gond Way, which is the end of Del Zoran, and start heading west along Del Zoran Street. Yes. Just, Just looking. Looking for cults. Looking for murdered people. Hmm. Just looking. Alexander, <laughs> ask your cards. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What them things say? Hmm. 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 Um. Roll a. I don't know that I have a spiritual. Roll an insight for your deck. A tarot insight. You got a sixteen. Um, it doesn't know exactly, but it does feel like it is very close. You, you are, you're, it, you're Del Zorn Street continues onto the other side of the main way that you were on, and and the cards tell you that it it definitely is on this side. Because if Buddy had to put one more goddamn map in, he would have killed <laughs> someone. <laughs> I'm gonna just kind of hold out my hand, hold out my hand, and then. I bet it's this one. With the deck <laughs> in the other hand, have a card pop out and point us in the general direction that I will now go down. 
Uh, could I use my divine sense and see if I get a ping of anything supernatural in this area? Oh, absolutely. Please do. All right. Is that is that a, a roll that you make, or is that is, it's just automatic? No, it's just uh, as an action you detect the presence of good and evil. Uh, so anything within, uh, so celestial fiends, undead within sixty feet, or anything affected by the hallow spell. If it's behind total cover, technically I can't sense it, but I'll leave that up to you. Yeah, there's um, there's nothing that 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 pings straightway. It uh. It seems it seems fairly fairly normal. Well, I'm not sensing anything, so it, whatever is in the house is not sensing. strong enough to make it all the way to the street. You sense things. I don't know. I can kind of What's that one. You can kind of like I don't know. We've seen the book. You could smell evil. Can you? Does it yeah. smell like a bad fart? I could smell bullshit. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, it's kind of... In the pub earlier. No, how... <laughs> there was like, a lot of evil people over there then. <laughs> no, blood kind of has like a metallic taste to it. Yes, I mean, what? Well, that's kind of <laughs> how evil wow. smells, if that makes sense. Mm. Uh, well, mm. I have never tasted... Never mind. All right. Tally forward. <laughs> You've never like bit your lip and you're like, well, oh, oh, it sucks, but mm. careful, Bertram. You're digging into something you might not want to know about. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys are just walk down. We're totally going this way. Yeah. And depending on my perception mm -hmm. roll. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, it's high, so I can't do that. I think uh, 26, uh, 23. Uh, I'm looking e for that icon if I can see it anywhere. Uh, it would, even with a 23, you don't see the icon anywhere. Uh, None of these houses seem to have a a, a crest or uh, or anything like that posted on them. They I'm they have numbers, anything, Bertram. as in house numbers. All right, Cesar, <laughs> do you want to accost another civilian here? Ah, uh, yeah. You, over there. You, turn around. Look at me. Over here. Mm. Over I only here. ask because you're mm. so good at it. <laughs> Mm, what? Yeah, you. Which house Her, is the... Are you new here? I uh, new everywhere. Get off! Get off my lawn! We're I'm not on your street. lawn. <laughs> well, okay, um, now I'm on your lawn. What you gonna do? Now you're gonna answer me question. Then I get off your lawn. Oh no! Uh, you know. Brr. I'm gonna Whatever. keep my eyes out for the guard. Just in case he <laughs> kind of yells for him. You don't want to make Caesar angry. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, what do you What do you want? Which house is Yellow Cross Manor? Well, none of them are Yellowcrest Manor anymore. The Yellowcrest haven't lived here in five years. All right, and which one was Yellowcrest Manor? And he turns and points astutely at this one that Keed had uh, just randomly identified <laughs> earlier. Yeah, I told you it was that one. All right, Keed, you was right. All right, thank you for your assistance. And All I turn right, around. Whatever. And like, I kick my feet as I, I, oh, I definitely kick my feet as I walk off of his lawn. Making like little divots on the way out. <laughs> Please tell me that you banish him. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. I would just last him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so it was the house that I thought it was. Yeah, the yep, one, that, one that we thought it was. Yes. Do you know why I think it's that one? Because it's got a lawn in it. I don't know. Because there's no neighbors immediately next door to either side. That's why I Smart. Knew it, it? Smart. All right, let's go. So, are you? Uh, have you guys decided if you're going to do a little bit of knocking on the door? Or are you going to do a little bit of kicking in of the door? Uh, can we see inside what, um... the grounds, or is it? Wait a minute, do um, I have a... and, and, well, there's no, there's no gate. So, I mean, you can walk up to the house and start peeking in the windows. Yeah. But that's a little creepums. Why don't we just knock on the door? Let's knock on the door. Apparently, yeah, that worked really that. well last time. There's a, I didn't... You guys met a dragon. 
Yeah. Made friends with a dragon. It won't be a dragon, is it? Even better. <laughs> I'm down for this knocking idea. I walk up. Knocking on doors is very overrated. <laughs> or underrated. People there don't do stairs. it enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's stairs, rated incorrectly. Right? Um, no, there are no, are there, no stairs? There, there, there are no stairs. It's like one is step it, up. It, but it's that's a it. single story building. No, well, there there are stairs inside, but to get to the to the to the front door, it's just one like step up onto the porch. Ramps. Oh, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna knock. I'm the one knocking. Okay. As they're arguing on the street. Uh, you knock, and you hear uh, footsteps inside. Just one moment, please. Walk, 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 and you hear the door unlock, and the door opens, and um. Oops, I'm trying to remember how to roll roll twenty. You're s at least you're free. <laughs> uh, and a, uh, a an, an older gentleman with a just a fantastic mustache and beard uh, opens the door and says, "Oh well, yes, hello." And that is where we're gonna take a ten minute break. I was gonna say, uh, why did you kill Sarah? <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome back to our sitting at the bar discussing killing people or knocking on their door. Um, our party has uh, has gained one. They have uh, they've they've added Alexander Moonlight to their to their ranks and um, they're in water deep. They're they're searching out uh, the the former home of, of, of the the family that that uh was was murdered they're looking for yellowcrest manor and they've just found where the manor what used to be the manor is they've knocked on the door and uh cannot find my cursor there it is and they've knocked on the door and this gentleman has answered it uh oh, oh yes um hello what uh what may i do for you I am, since I'm the one who knocked on the door, I'm going to look at everybody that's behind me somewhere, and then I'm going to turn to the gentleman who opened the door. Hello. We understand that this is the former Yellow Crest Manor. And oh, it we is. Are, it is. We are um, currently researching what had passed, um, happened here in this house. Um five years past mm. and we were oh, wondering terrible, if terrible tragedy we were wondering if at all possible you would allow us to uh tour the house and maybe see if there's anything that may have been missed i understand roll, that roll a persuasion check persuasion yeah. That's a two. Oh boy. Mm, uh, uh, well, I I can certainly show you to the sitting room. I I'm afraid I I cannot let you tour uh, the, the the master's house, but uh, but it, it was such a tragedy. I, I please uh, you you look a bit weary. Uh, he he looks at all of your companions. You look a bit weary. Uh, please come in and and uh, and I'll bring us some tea. Uh, and and I can I can tell you what I know. That would be lovely. I love appreciate that. it. Thank yeah. you. And so uh, he he will allow you in. Uh, my name is Arnulf, and I am the butler here for the Falgast family. Uh, uh, please uh, just in here and to the left is the sitting room, and uh, I will ring for some tea. The Fal Falgast. Yes, uh, Fal Falgarst. F A L G A R S T. Falgarst. And his name is Arnulf, A-R-N-U-L-F. And Wizards of the Coast can go suck it because these names are not meant to be said on stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, and he uh, he shows you in the the house is not uh, it's not extravagant inside. It's you know it's it's ta it's tastefully done. Uh, the sitting room is very comfortable. Um, there's a nice wide spot keyed for you that if you would like to like, just like sit and have some tea that that you can. There's plenty of plenty of space. And um, he uh, he he you know rings one of the bells and a uh, 
a, a servant girl comes out and they speak for a minute and she smiles and curtsies and, and goes off. And he comes in and, and stands. He does not sit with all of you, but he does stand there. Ah, uh, now, what, uh, oh, gosh, what can I tell you is, is such a, such a tragic event. I mean, the, the fact that you're here, I'm sure you know the, the basic outline of the story. Basics, yes, but we were curious and wanted uh, to hear it from someone who might have some, some more first-hand knowledge. Uh, uh, well, no, I, uh, I, luckily I, I don't have first-hand knowledge, um, but yes, the, the, this house was previously owned by the Yellowcrest family. Um, all except for the Lord were killed uh, one night while, while he was away in business. Uh, the, uh, it's, it's tragic. And everybody roll an insight check. Please. Inside. My and while you're insighting, skill. the um, the 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 serving girl comes in oh, and brings and, and sets down a tray of tea for all of you and, and begins handing out tea. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. That's a seventeen. Twenty-four. 15. Natural one for a three. Jeez, I'm crap. All right, Bertram, you you are just in, enamored by the tea that is coming out. Uh, the it's rest been a while you, since I've had some good tea. Let me tell you. The the rest of you, the, and this is this tea is actually quite good. Um, the rest of you, he he is genuinely, you know, kind of sad and disturbed by everything. But there is an undercurrent of uh, ooh, it's it's kind of exciting because it's it's gossip and it's it's extraordinary and it just it it never happens around here. So there's there's that whole kind of human nature thing of, of being excited about about unfortunate uh, circumstances. Um, and then the, the serving girl leaves and then it is it is just the uh, the six of you. Well, the six of you plus Taro, I guess. Um, yeah, don't forget Taro. I uh, he looks around and has a sip of tea and he's still standing. He's not sitting, but he does lean into all of you. This was never made public, but uh, it is said that Lady Maria, the three children, and all four servants were stabbed to death and their tongues removed. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Gr gruesome. They were only yes. stabbed to death. They weren't like dismembered or anything, just stabbed and tongues cut. Well, I suppose if you consider the tongue a member that was removed, so yes, dismembered, but if you don't consider the tongue a member, then no, sir, they were not dismembered. I'm just wanting clarification because when people tell me dismembered, I think arms and legs and bowels have just been like pulled out from their stomachs mm. and whatnot. Mm. Anyone he, else with me on this? He, 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 takes, uh, he takes kind of a, a step from you when you say that that's a little too graphic for him. Uh, uh, no, just 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 the tongues. Is, gosh, is that not enough? Just the tongue, dude. That, that is truly horrific indeed. Now, just between us, you know, if, living here, have you have you tried to, to to find the places that the events happened? Well, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I I have certainly had uh, had several looks around, but when the uh, when the house was bought uh, by the Falgast, they uh, they had everything inside torn out, removed the walls, the floors, down to the structure, and uh, brought several clerics in just to 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 make sure the the place was cleansed of any negativity, and, uh, and then basically it's rebuilt on the inside from uh, from from the structure. So I, I well, it's good. It's it's very good that I haven't found anything. But I, uh, you know, oh, no, very, very good, never, very good. You know, unfortunately, there's you always want to know to be able to help the the solving of, of things. But uh, Ex exactly, you know, the the curiosity gets at you. Absolutely, especially living in the in the place. You know, it does. You can't help but let your mind wander and think about it. Uh, Bertram, would your uh, sense detect? 
sense presence thoughts thing be still going? That's a 10 minute spell, right? No, divine sense only lasts for one turn, but I was just about to oh. say that I would like to use it again. Yeah, please do. Yeah, so I'm gonna just try to reach out and see if I get, now that we're in the house, to see if I can get a sense of any lingering evil that might be around. Um, you you reach out and, and to all, kind of all of your extents, and there, there doesn't seem to even be even be a flicker. Um, you, you you feel like that that he's that he's been quite truthful that it was it was torn on the inside down to studs and uh, you know blessed by by clerics and um and then rebuilt so that like basically no trace uh remains okay what about a basement though uh well yeah, yes we we have one it has been converted into uh converted into a wine cellar um, who, let's see, uh, maybe, maybe all of you take, oh, I see Alexander's finger going up right there. Let, let's all of you take a, take a perception. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, I would like to take a look at that wine cellar. I might have some, oh. uh, suggestions for your Lord. No, no, I, I, I am, I am, I'm sure that my Lord would not be, what are the other numbers? 17. 23. 13. Well, 12. 14. Would not would not be would not be happy with with me bringing people through there. You all get just the the faintest hint of wine about him. I, I mean, I, I routinely I, I make a, a patrol down there just uh, twice a day to make sure that everything is fine. Him. And I and I have I have I have made the checks today, and everything everything is fine. I, I, I unfortunately I, I cannot. Uh, I bet it tastes good as well. I'd like oh, to use well, my. I, I I would not. No, sir. And he looks at you and kind of looks away, he kind of demures away from you. I'd like to use my channel divinity to uh, give myself a bonus to persuasion checks for the next 10 minutes. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Come on, so let's have, have a, a look, please. A plus five. Yeah, I'll say, so, yeah, I'll try to. Love, love it. Are, are love you it. sure you, you wouldn't reconsider us, please, giving us a, a quick look around the house? Uh, roll your persuasion. Can I as well? Or, or can he it? can he assist me? What's your plus? Uh, with that bonus, uh, it's a plus seven. Uh, plus ten. Oh Ooh. Jesus! <laughs> before he point? rolls, before he rolls, I would like to use my guiding whispers and have some like ghostly haunts come in through the house. Um, to help give him guidance. I love it. So Bertram, please, if, if Bertram fails out, we'll let you give okay. a, a stab you're at it. Bertram or is it me that's doing it? We, I'm plus Bertram's 10. Gonna, Bertram's going to try it, and if he fails out, we'll let you give it a go. All right. Am I... So Bertram, you're guided, and you have, have a, your... That's a D4, right? On guidance? Yes. Yes. Right. Guided, and then whatever the bonus you gave yourself Ooh, is. Okay. So natural 19 uh, plus... The seven plus a three on the bull, so 27. 29? 29. That's math. 29. Oh. What would I have got? I really shouldn't, but if, if, if you promise, if you promise that you can be quiet, uh, the, the master and his lady are out, and it's just some servants here, so. If you can be discreet, uh, I could I could show you the wine cellar, uh, but uh, but no touching, no touching of any of the wines in there. He looks we, at you, Alexander. We wouldn't we wouldn't dream of it. No, I might I might bless a bottle or two while I'm down there just to bless the house. Well, that would that would just be benefit to my master, now it, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm, uh, please, it would. this way, and he mm. he uh, uh he, just he... just a moment, wait for me, please. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm yes. going to. Uh, I'm going to wild shape into a bloodhound. Stairs. Oh, I love it. <laughs> a mortal. So enemy. when you when you do that, he is. You can just tell by his face he is both frightened and exhilarated. <laughs> that is just uh, like adventurers sort of are in Fruit adventures. Freak. Yeah, adventurers are in his master's house. He's doing something he shouldn't, and one of them just turned into an animal, <laughs> and uh, he is just he is. He's all a Twitter, uh, and, and he 
and he goes to the to the door and or to, to the edge of the sitting room and he he pulls his hand up and he looks and he listens okay come on and he he ushers you across the hall and down a little side hall to a door that heads downstairs into the master's wine cellar I am I'm doing I'm going all in on his like he wants to make the sneak and like tiptoeing like behind him like <laughs> we're Scooby doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Dude, dude, <laughs> when he when he sees you doing that, like he goes up on tiptoes and for some reason like his hands come up like this as well. <laughs> um not not that I, this got, makes me, it any quieter. I'm sorry. I've go ahead. got my nose to the floor. I'm sniffing for anything that's not wine scented. Uh, you know, there's a lot of wine going on, and he, like, now that you're bloodhound smelling, he smells as much of wine as the cellar smells of wine, so he spends maybe more than a two trips a day just to check on things down here. Um, but yeah, so he, he tours you through. It's, it's, a, it's a very nice wine cellar. Um, but uh, nothing, nothing is overtly spooky at all about it. I'm sure Careless has some opinions on some of the vintages, but yeah, I, I look if the wine bottle's got any pictures on. Uh, there are some. They're they're kind of drawings of, uh, of of trees and countrysides and stuff. I mean, they're basic, but it's it's nice change. This one's a good one. I've seen this one. Oh, mm, mm. yes, that that one uh, from what my master says is quite good. Uh, you've a, a good eye, sir. Very good eye. I'm going to um, go around the perimeter of mm -hmm. the wine cellar basement to mm -hmm. see if I can find any. Um, does does the cellar seem smaller than it would be from the outside? Mm, that's going to be tough for you to intuit because it's underground. You don't necessarily know. Like, like it's not, I will say it's not like a 10 by 10 room. It is. Mm -hmm. It's quite spacious. Um, you know, it's 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 what you would consider maybe a, a full basement or or at least like a three quarter basement. There, nothing about it seems overly small to you I or strangely check small. Okay. Secret doors. Uh, yeah. Roll roll it up. On my rolling. Uh, is it check for traps? Uh, I don't I, I, I don't I haven't played a rogue it, in like. It would be investigation, years. but someone else would yeah. do it. Well, since like I'm the one searching. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um, Invest yeah. investigate it up. Like, there could be a secret door in here. Oh, that's a dirty twenty. <laughs> uh with a with a dirty twenty, you don't find any secret doors, but you do find the uh the secret like goblet and corkscrew that uh <laughs> That, that has, let's just say, has been hidden. Uh, you don't necessarily know that it was Arnulf who hid it there, but, you know, it kind of smells like him. And, oh, oh, goodness. It's like the master's been drinking and left left a goblet down here. Well, thank you very much, um, ma Madam Dog. Uh, and, and he kind of scoops it up and puts it on a tray that it should be intended to go back upstairs. Arnulf. He definitely, he feels a little bit caught for sure. Do you ever find any strange happenings or events going on in the house? Anything odd? Well, I, I shouldn't say this, but there was one time that I had come home from the market and the master was wearing the lady's corset and I, I it just for a moment I, I saw it and and, and I, I closed it all behind me because it's it is not my place to decide what he wears uh, or or how 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 they do things that the lord and lady of the house do uh so i i immediately went out to the market again even though 
we didn't need anything. And so th that's only happened once, but it was quite strange. Nothing supernatural, though. Hmm? Oh, oh. Mm. No. He's excited by the prospect that something could have happened, but nothing nothing at all clicks rings a bell for him. No uh, sun I've... chills, no moving of random objects that you thought were over here, but really they turned over here. No tables flipped upside down. I, I just start listing off like all of the things occasionally after a party things are like that but uh that's mostly it has to do with consumption just raw consumption on the night i think maybe we need to introduce the supernatural element ourselves now look at keed wolf oh right uh careless you got the, the thing it's in the it's in the um oh, the bottle I, I don't want to waste it if we go in there now, we can't go in there again to tomorrow. I would we'll get a room tonight. I don't. The book is in there. We need to get the book out. <laughs> what are we doing? <sighs> we need the book. <laughs> we need we need the book. The book is in the bottle, and the bottle is in uh, Careless's hammer space in it. We can only take it out once a day. Is it like putting the lime in the drink? Is that what happens? It's like it's like putting the lime in the coconut. Yes. <laughs> yes. What, what's the flooring made of? Uh, it's uh, it's stone. It's stone. Now, <laughs> <laughs> like cobblestone or just straight stone? Uh, it just it's cut stone. It's not like cobblestone. It's it's been well cut and 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 well finished. All right, I'm gonna try to get uh, to use my toenails as the dog to scratch out a note. Mm hmm. And it's just gonna say address. But for here, the address here is your question? I, I'll allow it because I have no earthly idea where you're going with this. Yeah. <laughs> What is it, Kate? We like to call this left turn Saturdays. <laughs> what what, what is it, Kate? Is Timmy in a well? Yeah, what is it, Kate? <laughs> Three kids, a wife, and some servants died here? <laughs> well, that's not new. We knew that beforehand. <laughs> Sorry, did say address. Um, Kate. I'm a, I'm a point. I'm a point to like to up to like here. Address to here? Oof. Let me check. His he, his address. Oh, uh, where uh, where he moved? Where he moved to? The forward address is what you is what you want. All right, where? Did... <laughs> and and, uh, he, and he and he looks at you like this is, is extraordinary that he's watching you have a conversation with the dog. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> um, Don't worry, so... they do this every day. Where did the uh, husband move to? Ooh, um, well, I, I don't rightly know. After the murders, he uh, he, he put the manor and, and just everything in, inside us. the manor. We know you. So, <laughs> he, 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 he starts at that. Um, he put the, the manor and all the possessions for the family up, up for sale, and, and then he moved uh, to, to some village in the countryside. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I do not know where. Does he still, okay, so you said he's sold the house and everything in the house, but he owned businesses in town, right? Does he still own those businesses? Have you got um, any pictures? Um, he grabs that, he grabs, he grabs that bottle of wine. Pictures of the master. Um, of, of, of my master? Yeah, the one that wipes wearing the dresses. I thought we were going to uh, table that discussion for later. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, well, I, I have a I have a crude sketch I made upstairs. I'll have to get for you. No paintings of him. In the corset? I thought you no, no, not in the tried corset. to put that picture away. No, not in the corset. Just normal paintings of him. Uh, uh, well, well yeah, uh, of course, upstairs. They're 
paintings of my lord and lady. Show me. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. I... Said. Where are you going with this, Careless? <laughs> I am going to oh. sneeze. I want to see the paintings. Very loudly. As a dog. And then we'll ask Sarah if that's actually him. Genius. It's not that's bad. not the worst idea you've had, yeah? See, pictures. Ah, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, yeah, uh, this way, everyone. Uh, and then he turns back to Alexander as, I hope you're all exiting. Uh, well, uh, yes, he, he owned... Um, some some tanneries and some leatherworking shops and and maybe some cobblers uh here in town and I, I i guess maybe they still belong to him but uh i i have never heard of him coming back to waterdeep so maybe maybe they mail the correspondence their the profits to him I got you. I got you. We'll, we'll table this. Let's go do the picture thing because we're enamored with pictures. I don't understand what's going on today, but let's let's go get the picture thing. Okay. There's so a... he, he leads you back upstairs. As we go, go I would like to get like one bottle or two bottles just kind of slightly into my uh, my bag if I can real fast. Do you have sleight of hand? Uh, I'm a bard, so technically, no, <laughs> I have half proficiency with it. Okay, yeah. Uh, I will allow you to roll either sleight of hand or straight decks to see if you can, uh, how, how many are you trying to scoop? One or two? Probably one would be the smart move. One, because I know I already had some today, so I might not be the best at this. 22. Dude, you fucking smooth slide one out of the rack and right into your bag. And he is nearly still looking at you when you do it. But he is just with the the checking the wine earlier and, you know, a, a, an adventuring party showing up on the front stoop and then one of them turning into a dog and just all of this talk of, of adventure. He is he's on cloud 11 and he just he just totally misses you take it. Um, uh, as a, I'm as checking a, the wine now. As a, as a thanks for for bringing us down here, Arthur. I I do bless on one of the wine bottles because it's not going to do anything for the wine. It's a it's a, it's a plus <laughs> D four, but it's a little magic glowy on it, and he's like it's just for him letting us down here. Oh my, oh bless you. Oh thank you so much. The master will uh, will forever be in your debt. Thank you so much. Uh, bless you. Bless you. And then he like makes note of exactly where that bottle is. <laughs> check that one later. Make sure it's stolen. Uh, yeah. So he leads you upstairs um, into a, a, a different room than the sitting room that you were in. And, and sure enough, above the fireplace is a very, you know, a, a steer looking uh, man and wife who obviously posed for, for this painting. Um, then it, yes, that is uh, that is that is my my lord and lady, uh, Lord Fallgast, and, and and his mistress. Oh, okay. Um, can you hold this bottle the, for me? Ah, uh, ab absolutely. Don't drop it. You thought the dog was good. Watch this. And I just turn into a mist and inside. <gasps> And now he's he's like shaking, holding it, trying to not drop it, like for real. Well, steady, while he's steady. distracted by that, I'm gonna go look around the house. I'm gonna see if I can smell any of the magic or, uh, or anything that uh, might be remaining from before they bought the house. For sure, for sure. You uh, you have no trouble giving him the slip because he is every part of his being is focused on not dropping this bottle that doesn't weigh any more than it did previously, but now has careless mist inside of it. Um, and uh, yeah, so you're you're able to to go through the house. Um, please roll me 1d4. 1d4. No, 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 not careless, uh, keyed. Oh, keyed. That's a one. 
the uh, the very first room that you uh, come into is the uh, there's the the serving girl who brought the tea out, and uh, she she screams when she suddenly sees a dog in the room with her and drops a stack of plates clattering to the ground and then and runs from the room still still screaming you don't smell anything though i mean maybe a faint a faint whiff of pee but uh... i will if i don't smell anything and nothing seems i'll move on to the next room okay uh roll me 1d4 Also a one. <laughs> you find the the girl and she's screaming and she's talking to the cook who is like, there's no possible way. Of, oh my God. And now two of them are screaming and utensils clattering to the ground and they and they run. Uh, you are in the kitchen. Uh, there are a number of delicious smelling food smells. Um, I guess I'm not exactly sure what you are smelling for. Um, just something that may not long this is where i would insert like a a, a pineapple on pizza joke but uh it's a little except for pineapple time. on pizza is delicious it so actually is it, it really belong. is it is it just so many people feel so vehemently about it that exactly uh no i i i guess i'm are you looking for like a basket of tongues or like no, blood stains I guess, on the floor. <laughs> I guess no, not blood stains, but you know, like a tainted smell, kind of like, kind of like a very old decayed body. I don't know. I mean, there are definitely some onions that are on the edge of going around the bend in the kitchen, but they're probably just gonna put those in stew. Oh, all of those onions, they last for a while. I, right, <laughs> right. My point. <laughs> um, and we will come back to you searching the house and scaring the servants careless I whisk out of the bottle holding the book oh, that was amazing can you teach it to me oh no you need to be half genie like me thank you and I take the bottle back put it in my pocket <sighs> Uh, it just it 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 slips from his hands as you take it from him uh you know you just you slide it right out and he is just eyes locked on you half genie do you grant half wishes he does but it's terrible they're all terrible the half of the wish that he grants <laughs> is just inconvenience in you oh. it always takes you someplace you don't want to really be it's from what i've heard today from these people <laughs> Um, yes, best, best, uh, best I not to get into that headspace. Um, uh, 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 yes. Um, is there anything else I can be of service for? Yeah. Oh, one second. I'll open the book. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Sarah, are you in there? <clears throat> <Not looking> right. <laughs> so, you open the book and nothing happens. But when you say, Sarah, are you in there? The, uh, the, the mist... Sarah, begins to to, to co Sarah? <laughs> Sarah, are you okay? No, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I gotta find her hand out again. Uh, um, yeah, as the 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 mist begins to coalesce around, uh, similar to to Carolus moments ago, and 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 so the uh, Arnolf is is excited to see what's happening. And Alexander, you have not yet seen this, but the mist kind of slowly spins and then coalesces into um just a, a ghostly a ghostly image um i believe yeah i've done the the handout pop up uh yeah. this 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 poor girl who just seems to be in complete anguish and uh and she she moans and 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 tries to tries to be to, to admit what would seem to be a scream and Alexander you and Arnolf can both clearly see that her tongue is missing it is gone and she she notices the surroundings that she's in and 
she just kind of drops to the floor and head in her hands just begins to cry just even more so than you saw her cry when you were all at Candlekeep. She is she is distraught. Sir, um, get it together. Get back here. Um, <laughs> well, a gentle if you, if you hand, know your careless. auntie, your auntie has got no emotions. <laughs> She's not a your auntie. She's a ghost. No, I am. I've got oh, no emotions. Okay. <laughs> so, come on, get up. Um, Wait, odd, odd. <laughs> um, Sarah, is 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 that your master? And and she. She, she looks up to you and then she looks at the painting and kind of cocks her head to the side and looks back to you and shakes her head no. Um, Arnolf is beside himself and again with excitement and fear and has, has run Bertram to be behind you and kind of peeking over your shoulder and you can just, you, just a constant stream of muttering that's Oh, it's it's astonishing. I, I I have never in my life that that's I think that's the girl. That, she's one of the serving girls. That was, and it's just a constant muttering, of, of kind of stream of consciousness. Mm, uh, meet mm, yes. Mm. Meet meet Sarah. She is in fact one of the victims of this house. He he steals himself and straightens his coat. Madam, I'm. Sorry to meet you on these terms, but 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 glad to meet you all the same. And and she she is still upset and she is still crying, but she she regards him, you know, and and kind of does a a bit of a ghostly curtsy to him. And then she she kind of floats a little bit and just just looks around at how different things are. But like you can she can tell it's the same, but it is definitely different. Sarah, was there any hidden rooms? in this building she she looks and she and she seems to think and and shakes her head no but then looks at you in kind of an i don't know look but there were no you're the best guess you get is that there were no secret rooms that she knew of and can you take us to where the ritual was held she she kind of recoils and 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 and, and shakes shakes her head no very very kind of quickly alexander what what is your take on all of this i so this is like an average saturday night for me seeing a ghost just randomly pop up that's not unusual um but the way everyone is kind of interacting with her is taking me for a loop because they all seem to just be in the same boat as I am, except for the butler. And that's, most people are like the butler when they first see a ghost this way. Mm. So I know my reading from earlier was very true because here's a ghost and it's been with them the whole time. I will ask, uh, she has she has no tongue so unless you have some sort of special ghost whisperer i wish but no i'm gonna point at the <laughs> butler and be like next time someone asks if there's been a ghost in the house and things have been moved what's your answer oh, oh, oh well it, it, for the next time it must be yes so. <laughs> bullshit it's still a no she was never here do you understand me <laughs> you're, you're a part of us now. You can't say anything to anyone. Ah, ah, uh, mm, mm, yes. Uh, mm, <laughs> blood in, blood I, out. Is that that? Uh, oh my uh, god. I, I, I don't know what that means, but uh, I, let's just say I forget a lot of things, and I, I have forgotten this now as it is happening. And we'll also forget that we found that goblet in the cellar. What goblet? <laughs> yes. The goblet that my master left, and he got. <laughs> I believe we have an uh, understanding. Keed. Uh, you have now sent two of the servants screaming away and found some bad onions. Uh, uh, tell me what your next play is. I'm going to uh, go up you to the... You now smell definitely kind. 
go up to to where uh, to the next to room? the second either to the next room or the second floor uh whichever uh, is yeah the, the nothing else of interest in the the remaining rooms on this floor and and you make it upstairs and you again you find the several bedrooms you know, obviously the lord and lady um smaller rooms maybe maybe one or two kids um some servants quarters laundry things like that it's all very typical but nothing seems at all out of place um the it, we, we will say that, that in one of the kids rooms you do find some some very um very basic randy sketches uh so maybe this is like a, a teenage boy's room or something um is there a i don't know a path up to the attic um not readily that you can see you you could investigate for one but there's nothing there's not like a door with more stairs that goes up okay i'm gonna go back and try to find the rest of you know everybody that i came here with okay you uh you you make it back down and and you see them talking to sarah again and um, Arnolf is doing his best to, to not look at her, but is continually like stealing glances. Is you know is something he has never encountered, but he's very trying to be very stoic about it. Uh, so Keed has rejoined the group. Everyone. So there's nothing here. But how do we find what village he moved to? Let's be honest. He hasn't moved to a village. Well, we could go check those stores he potentially still owns. Do you, by chance, know which directions those were in? Please don't tell me they were back at the docks. Well, no, of course not. They would be in the trades ward. Whew, okay, don't have to walk that far back. All right. Whew, okay. Yeah, the, the trades wards, they're just uh, adjacent to the docks. Um, <laughs> you, uh... You you have um, and he kind of looks at her, and then looks at you and tries to kind of turn away so that she can't hear, and mouths the words. You have of course spoken with her gentleman caller, and he kind of like points at her behind him. You don't have to pretend like she's not there. <laughs> She can hear you. She might be whining and crying a lot, but don't worry. They, they get over it eventually. We Once we put her to rest, it'll be fine. But who's this, uh, who's this suitor? Um, I, I know he lived quite nearby. Um, uh, his, his name was Vel, Velen. Varen, uh, Vekin, Vekin, Vekin. And as soon as he says that, she fucking rounds and whips her head onto him and again goes into just a deep, deep despair of crying. And her, she lets her form release into the mist and the mist kind of regains itself into the book. She, she has kind of reached her limit for the moment, it seems. This, uh, this Vecan, he was... Was he in the house that night? Uh, I, I couldn't say. The, uh, I don't know that anyone knows who was in the house, but I believe he lives quite near here on, on, on MR Street. Well, let's um, go there, then. Do you, do you have a house number? Because we, we, we did a whole thing to get here to begin with, and I'd rather not repeat that. <laughs> uh I, I, I I'm sorry, I, I I do not know I do not know the, the man. I'm not even sure if he still lives here, but uh they uh, apparently they were they they were quite what? quite well acquainted. Him and Sarah. Yes. Was he Was he an elf? Was he a human? Can I get a little more descriptions or was it just a dude? Could have been a gnome. Some human women like gnomes, or a gnome. I mean, yeah. I, I, I. I They're a lot of fun. I believe he was a human, a or, naughty. or near, I'm near, going near to bark human. And try to make it sound like card. 
when you do you put some power behind it or are you kind of like trying to be finesse with it uh i'm gonna put some power into it it did oh, no, I, I think he was a human i'm so, I, i'm so sorry i do not i i am I, I i i i don't know the this the the adrenaline rush is starting to crest down from him and he's he's beginning to process uh you did Wait, what, what, what a more time keyed? What'd you say? And I'm going to try again to make oh, it. So, oh, God. No, to make it sound like the word card. Card. Coffin and R. The R. Bark. Card. Bark. Does he have a card? Do I have to take his card? Bark. Do it. Who's got the card? Yeah. He, he, oh, he cards! He, you over there, he, boy. He'll, he'll, he'll reach into his jacket and 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 pull out the card that has his name on it. Um, yeah, I'll take that. What, yeah, so I, I don't know. Wants, I don't oh, know. Oh, Let's thank see you. You now have his calling card, so. <laughs> so uh, be uh, useful later. Alex, Alexander, do it. Ask the ask the deck about the about the boy. Oh. I'm sneeze. <laughs> Ah, see, there uh, they go. They're getting somewhere. <laughs> welcome to Dr. Doolittle D&D Theater, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Make way, make way, make way. If he was a snake, uh, I could speak with you. <laughs> I'm going to shuffle up the deck. I'm going to shuffle up the deck. And this time, I will allow um, the guiding whispers to guide my hand as I attempt to tell what has become of Vecan within the past five years since anybody really knew about him. Okay. What did we have you roll for that earlier? Uh, I, I do not remember. I believe it was insight. For yeah, like, I, think it, I think it was insight from the deck. Yeah. Yeah. So roll an insight. And then I'm guessing that that was guidance that you put on it. Yeah. Let's see it. 26. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. And then with the guidance, 27. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the thing that tipped it over the edge, these 27. Um, yeah, the. So, so how, do, how does the deck answer you? Does it speak to you or does it does it give you firm answers or does it give you kind of kind of cryptic um, things that could be interpreted? It gives me cryptic things that I can interpret whichever way I so choose, um, mm -hmm. depending on how the cards lay, especially if it's like, um, so like this would be upright, giving mm -hmm. it one, like one thing. And if it were to be upside down like this, it would have a completely different meaning. It would be like, um, so you ask a question and roll and then cut to a card. And that is kind of the cryptic answer. More or less, yeah. Okay. Uh, then it will it will give you. Hmm. I guess I need to familiarize myself with the Tarok uh, deck, uh, the Taroka, whatever it's called. I need to familiarize myself with it. Uh, it, it. He is a, a a bit of a local hero, and uh, and and does in fact live uh, very nearby. Ah, okay. As long as I don't get a horseman, everything's peachy. Horseman means death. So. Well, not our death. Sarah's death, obviously. <laughs> well, uh, it, it'll it show me the warrior card then, if that's the case, okay. if he's a local hero. Hmm. He's still in town. Mm, maybe we can go ask about a Vecan the hero or a man who possibly fights within the tavern bar fighting scene. I, I don't know. We've only been here for like a day or two. I don't know if there's underground fighting rings. You'll it sounds like a thing that could be all here. Of the, the hero tavern fighters yes. in, the, in the world. I love that. I mean, Cesar, you... You were doing great just asking people on the street. I think yeah, I, that I, might I, just be the way to go. <laughs> we got a good system going. Why why mess with it now? 
True, true. You might want to head downtown a little bit before I start asking around again. Uh, all right, so are you guys going to... Say... You don't ever tell anyone. If you do, <laughs> the genie's going to come and get you. I, 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 I know not... I'll do an intimidation. Uh, there is no, there is no need. I do, uh, anyway. do it anyway. I do it anyway. What do you roll? Do I get advantage? Sure. <laughs> blood in, I mean, you're, blood you're out. In, you're, you're in, you're in, you're in his master's house with an adventuring party. I rolled really yeah, you badly, have advantage. but I still got a sixteen. Uh, it, it, kid, you might you smell just that that hint of of pee again, and and he's. Uh, I, I I I know not what you mean. I uh, I've been dusting the silverware all afternoon. It sure, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna sneeze, shake, and then I'm going to go to the front door and wait. <laughs> Let's go. Follow yep. behind. Yep. yep. Uh, 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 good good day to you all. Bye. Thank yeah, you take, for your help. Take Arnold. care. Thank you for the tour. Yep. Bye. I'm gonna do uh, this little number at him as we walk uh, out the door. And he and he's gonna he's gonna like like for the first time in the whole time you've been in there, he's gonna be cool for a minute and be like, There was no tour. I was polishing the silverware. <laughs> <laughs> it was I don't think that came out the way you wanted it to. No, no, it did. It did. Let him let him oh, tell everybody that. Let him tell everyone that. He's got silverware. Oh god, I can't remember. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, you might be in with the biggest band of thieves ever, Alexander. Uh, all right, so you you leave uh, Arnoff behind, and um, and exit, and you're back on uh, Del Zoran Street. And so the the sun is definitely lower in the sky. Um, there are still folks milling about. Um, it looks like maybe they've hit the market and they're heading home with you know some some groceries and things like that. Um, but if you if you look on the map, so you are here on uh, at the manor on Del Zorn Street, and Imar Street is just right up here. Over there, it's a it's, it's a short, oh, it's a short little street. So yeah, it's, it's just a couple of blocks. We run. Wow. It's a brief question for the group. Uh, brief question: um, What do we plan on doing with that? And I point to the book. I put it away. Uh, you you put it back away in the in the bottle. Or I'm confused no, I, how we deal with this. I can't do that till tomorrow. No, yeah. You can't do it today. I put it in me. I put it in me backpack. Once and done kind of guy. Okay, I understand. I understood. Yeah. You know what? You get older. Things happen. <laughs> um. Unless you can put it in your bottle. I'm gonna hold <laughs> up the deck. The, this does this look like a bottle? Can you put it in that? I'm gonna walk ahead. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, hold out the book. Hold out the book. We're gonna try this. I'm gonna split the deck. No, no, no. We don't want to lose a book. <laughs> I was willing to try. We head off to Imar. Uh, cool. Yeah, you. Uh, you. It's again very similar. Uh, it's. You've moved from a kind of like upscale set of people walking through to a little more working class, um, but uh, certainly not like lower end. But there, this just seems like this is a little more of an area where folks do some more manual labor type things. Okay. Well, Caesar, you're up, I believe. Um, I go look for like. Someone who looks like they work in the docks? Maybe not quite that blue collar. Okay. Well, then I'll just go. I, I'll, well, third time's a charm. Let's go up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo. Oi. Turn around. Ah. Mm, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, sir. All right. We looking for uh, Vekin? Oh, hero. yeah. Sir, Sir Vekin. Oh, yeah. Sir Vekin. Yeah. Oh. yeah, he's... uh. Yeah, he's, he's he's he lives he lives here, uh, and he he looks around. Uh, he's about four houses down uh, that away, and he points kind of in this direction over here. Sir, you guessed. Thank you. 
<laughs> uh, oh no! Any any time, any time. And he goes back to carrying his uh, his, his wares. You know, loading away. the same box into a cart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad you guys haven't been asking names for any of these NPCs. No, okay. <laughs> names Sudden, slows down. Suddenly, a fireball appears out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> No, uh, so yeah, he, he points into kind of this this cluster of uh, of houses over here. Okay. All right, we head that way. I'll go knock. Roll me a 1d4. Three. It's, it's the one with it. four sides on it. I couldn't see it. Stop. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So you knock on the door and um, say a, you you hear footsteps coming and the door opens and there's a um, a, a kind of a burly uh, human at the door. Um, he seems like he you know has some has some scars like he has uh, he has seen seen some shit. Um, Keith, are you still in the, your wild shape form? Yes, I am, and I believe it lasts for five hours. Yeah, it's a long time. I just wanted to make sure cool. that you wanted to stay in in wild yes, shape. Yes, I'm going to stay in this form for for as close to the five hours as possible. It will help so, with going up and down stairs. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, he opens the door and uh, uh, yes, can I can I help you? We're here for Sir Vecan. Well, you have found him. Uh, he's, he susses you all out for a moment. Uh, friends, have we adventured together before? No, uh, under it's kept, arrest. It's, okay. I'm a joking. <laughs> you can't uh, keep saying that every have, time someone's up in the We door. have come inside. That's, I, I'll, I'll, I'll round up. There's not a lot to eat, but I'll round up some food and we'll have a We'll have a drink and tell some tales. And he is, uh, he's very magnanimous. Well, look at that face. Well, I said he had seen some shit. Yeah. And you guys thought he wasn't in the underground boxing ring tournament. <laughs> look at this. This is a very above ground boxing ring. Look at Uh, but yeah, he, he invites you in. He actually leaves the door open and, and heads in and, uh, and it's still kind of talking to you. Uh, I, I can't. I can't remember the last time that we saw each other. It, it must have been some time. And you hear him kind of like sorting through the kitchen and and getting some some drinks and and some food and and stuff. Um, but yeah, you're all standing on the stoop. What would you like to do? So we're gonna get a little bit to the chase on this one. We hear about Sarah. <laughs> At least let him get some food for us. I was say, well, I guess we're diving right in. All right, yeah, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's take it in the house. Take it in the house. In the house. In the house. Fine, fine. In the house. All right. It, am I? I had followed him you... as as soon as he had walked, turned back into the yeah, house. I followed him in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, am I to understand you guys don't want to play Wild Goose Chase Two Electric Boogaloo? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. Is everyone else? Because I did. <laughs> All right. I'll just I'll skip those pages in the script and go go ahead then. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So you all you all join him. This is a a much kind of smaller, more a little more utilitarian, um, house. It um. I, I will say that if you you walk in and look and it it's, it's comfortable. Um, there's, you know, a couple of kind of sitting chairs. Uh, there's a, a fireplace, a little less of a grand fireplace than was in the last house. Um, but above that fireplace is a helmet uh, with two horns on it. And one of the horns has been broken completely off. And he comes in and he's kind of managing drinks and food and stuff because he can't carry anything and Carolus just won't. Do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you need a hand? I could. Yes. Give... Uh, oh well. Uh, yes. Have, yeah, have okay. a hand of this drink and and have have some of these these little sandwiches. Um. 
Did he cry? <laughs> no, well, you feel like maybe he didn't make you sandwiches, but he had some made and like cut them into small finger sandwiches. They used to be regular sized sandwiches. <laughs> well, it's the thought that counts. Really. I feel Absolutely. like we are Absolutely. intruding on. What well, may have been your lunch? No, or... no, no, no. Absolutely, lunch. Who eats lunch this late? Goodness, you are adventurous Did... to the core. You, you, you. You don't have to be uh, cordial with us. We can, we can take a little. Like, you, if you have a facade on, you can drop it. Try ham and well, cheese. Uh, no, I, I, I just. Uh, 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 yes, that one is ham and cheese. Oh, uh, I, it's just, it's been so long. You know, I, 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 I don't regret leaving the life to to come to come live with my father and and help him as he as he's been getting older but i i must say i do miss the life tell me tell me about about your recent conquests your adventures smiting of of evils well we were uh, hoping you could help us with that actually we are we are here on a on a task we're on a quest. Well, I am semi-retired, but only semi-retired. What? No, uh, no, nothing uh, like what, what, just, yeah. just information. I, we're, we're hoping. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Please, anything I can help you with? Yeah. The Go question ahead. you were going to ask at the door, now you asked it. We're, we're all sitting down. We have food. Now, now you ask that question. All right. What happened to Sarah? There we go. <laughs> he, Ripping he, the bandaid off. His demeanor instantly changes and you can see kind of a great sorrow swell within him and, and he is he's he's managing it he's he's pushing it down uh, well she um she and and nearly everyone in the yellow crest uh, household was was killed um several years ago that's uh that's pretty much what drove me into becoming an adventurer and trying to write, trying to write wrongs that were done to people. Right. So the story we've been hearing is that uh, Vailis went, left the manor and came back to find his family and his servants slaughtered. But what I am asking you is what happened to Sarah? I'm not by. I'm not buying the story that we keep hearing around of the man leaving the house and then coming back to fighting everyone died. And if you say you, if you say that that instance made you want to go out and look for justice, you know something. Something no one else has been telling us. Ah. Uh, well, there's. There's nothing that I that I know, but um, but I, I there are definitely things I suspect, and I feel like maybe maybe we suspect similar things. Um, the uh, after the murders, the, uh, the Sarah and, and the three servants were interred here in the public cemetery, but uh, Lady Maria and and the children were, were not. Um, Lord Vialis wanted wanted his wife and children to be interred near his new home, so that he never needed to return to Waterdeep to visit um, to visit them. And so I I I I don't know. I don't know if he is a necromancer and has ill tidings with with his family and has turned them into walking servants of the undead, or if uh, he had everyone killed, and it's just he happenstance that he that he left, or if do you know where he is? Maybe he is the very the victim of a of a horrific horrific no, crime. No, he's not. We've spoke to Sarah. Um, do you know well, where oh, he is? You explain. don't drop knowledge like that on somebody whose loved one died. Explain, explain yourself, sir. I did now. It earlier. No, we didn't show him the book. We no, showed the butler no, the book. Yeah, we didn't. I didn't. Explain no, I'm just talking to you yourself guys. now. We spoke to Sarah's sir. ghost. I yeah, show him the book, Carolus. Oh. Is what I'm saying. You can't just open that up with someone like this. Yeah. 
What book? Pull it out. Show them. Oh. Servek and I apologize, but this will be distressing. It will be, be tough for both of you. Fucking <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Jesus I pulled a Christ. book out and opened a book. J Jade, do you have inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do I? No, I don't. Please take it. You are just the absolute worst, and I love it. Oh my mean gosh! Me. I know. No, I know. You're right. He's a yon He he doesn't know. He doesn't know any better. Uh, yeah. So you guys, uh, do you guys pull the book out? Yeah. yeah. Let me show you. Let me show you stuff. He. She will uh, cry. He, 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 immediate, he immediately sucks in a breath as if it was the last one left in the room because he recognizes the book as, as her diary. I'll open it up. Was your friend? I'll open it up. Yes, we had hoped to be married uh -huh. um, a, a, a couple of, couple of years ago uh, until that happened. Oh. Well, you can say hello to her. She won't be able to talk to you, obviously. You know. Uh, he he is he's in shock and cannot respond to you. He's staring at you and at the book. I open the book. So when you open the book, nothing specifically happens. Uh, Sarah, we want you to come meet Vegan. Do you want to come and say hello? The, the mist forms more rapidly than before uh, normally it takes kind of just a few seconds to coalesce and, and and her form is is suddenly there and you thought that she was upset at candlekeep and and you thought that she was upset at the what used to be yellowcrest manor but she she comes together and she sees sir Vecan standing there and just just looks him in the face and immediately in her moan she just separates into the mist and and is is back into the book and he slumps over into his chair just tears just raining down his great face i'm gonna put my head on his knee <laughs> she, she told us that the the <clears throat> The, uh, uh, whatever his name is, is the, the necromancer. He's the one that killed her and the family. So we're going to go and kill him for you. But also, he's got... He... What we're sent to do is to right whatever wrong he was doing, and he may have something, uh, a great evil on him. So from what we know, he was doing the, uh, the, doing some sort of ritual and he's got something that we need to find and we need to take back to Candle Keep. So doing that means we'd, we'd find him and kill him or we find him and we just take what, what he's got. But he, point is, he's out there somewhere. He's got to answer for what he done and we got to take care of it. He he's hearing what you're saying, but but can kind of only shake his head in a yes in an affirmative manner. Do you know where he moved to by chance? I I, I don't, but I I know that he still has some businesses in town. Um, surely, surely someone there knows something. Um, what are the name of those places? Uh, the. Uh, the other one that I've ever been to is is, is a leather shop called the Rose and Buckle. Um, oh, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see uh, who works there. <laughs> uh, 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 Raphael, R Raphael Christophus works there, and he uh, <laughs> he, uh, he 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 may he may know something. Uh, I. I bought Sarah some some gloves from there before she died. And if Alias Primer here, he would say, "Oh my God, she died." <laughs> um, and he is he he is he's still in the conversation, but he is now deep in kind of contemplation. 
These sandwiches are really good. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you. Thank you. I, I've i got my head resting on his knee, and I am attempting to try to comfort him in my doggy form. Uh, as, as Careless talks about the sandwiches, he, he kind of realizes that you're there and does reach over and gently begins to, to, to scratch you behind the ears. Um, he, he is receptive to the, uh, the kind of healing that you're, that you're trying to, to give him. Um, I, uh, I spent so long thinking that I was writing wrongs only to now find out that there was, there were wrongs here that I could have righted maybe. And I, just was blind to it. No, don't don't beat yourself up about that. We had to have this thing literally fall into our laps to figure out something was going on here. It, it, it that's difficult, but but thank you for the words. Now, sir, very quickly, I I've had many things as of late pop up to me, but for some reason. I'm gonna point over to the helmet and flick out the uh, the broken one card upside, right side up. Mm -hmm. The words horns that are broken may yet be of use have stood out to me. What what happened to your helmet here with these <sighs> horns? Uh. <sighs> we were. Uh... We were tracking a, 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 a well-known group of bandits uh, just outside of Neverwinter, and uh, the the leader he he juked when I jived, and his sword came down and nearly caught me uh, nearly caught me for the last time. But thankfully, it, it hooked my horn, and uh, in, in shattering it off, I it did give me. A few of these scars, and he, he points to the scars on his face. He gave me a few of the scars, but it it also gave me the upper hand to uh, to deal with a group of bandits who were who were attacking people on the way in and out of Neverwinter. And he stops, he stops dead when he says that. There, there have been rumors. I, 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 uh, sorry, friends. Uh, there, there have been rumors of people being accosted in, in a couple of towns south of here. Hmm. Towns plural or one particular area? Uh, it, it, leading in, uh, I guess the road that leads to a few towns. The only one I know near there is kind of a little no name nothing that's uh, it's green belt or something green fast it's called green fast and uh there's there have been some disappearances as well hmm maybe okay. you should go see maybe you should go see Raphael and and ask him if uh he knows of anything in Greenfast. Yes. And if you decide that you need a sixth to your party. It's a hundred gold piece mine. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. Don't 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 mind him. Oh no, I, I don't Pretty mind. Much. You you set your price for, for buy-ins, I understand. Um Stop doing that. He's joking. It's only fifty. It's only fifty gold. Uh, oh well, that's that's actually a little more reasonable. Um, uh, but if 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 you feel like you need another, maybe maybe a, a semi-retired old salt like me could be of uh, could be of service. Just just send a messenger my way. Well, you seem like you got a dog in this fight, so we'll keep you in mind. Well, and, at least he looks like... down, and he looks down and he says, well, it "Seems like you have a dog in this fight as well." And he gives her gives Keith another scratch, uh, you know, behind the ears. It's not dog. 
<laughs> well, I... We have taken up enough of your time and ruined enough of your day. I realise no, that no, think... what Caesar's saying is bringing it to a close, so I quickly grab a couple more sandwiches. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, yes, please. Um, I... Um, no, it, it. you're right. It was difficult, but... But thank you. I, I think maybe I've been blinded and, and wallowing in, in sorrow that I thought I had dealt with, but it seems that there's more justice yet to be served. So thank you. Thank you for the difficult lesson. We'll let you know if we find anything. Uh, thank you. Um... Yes, if you uh, and, and he suddenly he's kind of reaches over and does a really crudely hand sketched map. It's like if you if you head uh, to here in the the trades ward, um, that's where uh, that's where where Raphael's shop is um, or, or was. I'm sure it is still there. It was very popular at the time. Please go go talk to him and uh, and see if any of this begins to overlap. Thank you. These Thank you for the some, sandwiches. Yeah, these could do with some pickle. Pickle's nice on cheese and ham. Try. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll 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 give that a try. Can we leave? All right. So. All right. So we're leaving, Sir Beckon. Yeah. Yeah. Let's leave him be. How long has it been? <laughs> um, it was probably. 15 minutes to walk over there and you guys have probably spent maybe half an hour at his place. And how long were we at the other, other Oh, house? um, uh, let's say you, since you went into wild shape, let's say it's, it's been a total of, um, I don't know, an hour and a half, maybe as much as two hours. You, you still have plenty of time. All right. Um, uh, yeah. And so oh, let me switch maps because there's nothing I like more. Then play with maps and maps. Um, yeah, so the the area that he has drawn for you is kind of in trades ward in this region here. It's on the the northern side of the trades. Okay, the trades so ward. Not that far. No, no, no. So let's see if it was a half an hour to get up to. Yellowcrest Manor, or it was an hour to get to Yellowcrest Manor. It's maybe half an hour to get back to there, but it is the getting to be the end of the day. You do know that shops close down and um, not sure that leather working shop's going to be open after like 6 p.m. Yeah, oh, that's, he'll be open. Depends concern, on the leather he'll be, worker. He'll, he'll be open. <laughs> Willie. Oh, Willie thanks. Cesar. Okay. Willie. <laughs> Mine was a threat, not an innuendo. No, my mine as well. Uh, let's oh, okay. get down there and find it, and let's see if leatherwork will be open at six p.m. I bet sometimes he lives over I, his shop. Sometimes I give you actual information. Uh, yeah. So you guys want to head down there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once at least let's... walk by the place. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. You guys head down there, and again, it's uh, the, the crowd's a, a little bit different now. It's kind of folks that are, um, you know, they're out carousing a little bit, drinking a little bit, uh, and another water deep map. <laughs> uh, if you scroll down to uh, the uh, just below the city of the dead, there's an area called uh, Quill Alley. Mm -hmm. And the the directions that he gave you take you into that that area there, where I'm throwing the ping up. Yeah, yeah. a lot of alleys. If we well, stop at any point, I am going to make snoring sounds, pointedly looking at each person and making a snoring sound. Sure. Does anybody pick up on uh, the fact that Keith is snoring at you? I do because I've been talking to the dog all day and it's my new favorite thing. <laughs> What's Raggy? 
We're going hard in the paint for Scooby Doo right now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, keep keep saying we need to we need to take a rest or find a place to turn in soon. Well, how how late is it? Yeah, we'll find a rest soon. At least we I should mean, at least find an inn to we go in after here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Make note of where one is. I see some. Yeah, they're they're kind of. When things. he says find an inn, I'm gonna sneeze and nod. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try. Uh, Let's uh, at least see if anyone's home. I, I try what Caesar said. You there over there? <laughs> <laughs> this won't be intimidating uh, at all. Yeah. Uh, but yes. In. Where is one? Um, was, is he like he like points? They're kind of like Starbucks. There is like there's one and there's one across the street from one. Um, the ends are kind of all over the place. He points here. five out. I went, thank you. I looked to Caesar. It worked. There's one over there, and there. I think um, it worked a bit better with a smile, not a snarl, but good progress. Oh, I could try it with a snarl. Oh man, careless and progress are two words that I do not think go together normally. <laughs> so, are you guys going to try to find an inn, or are you going to try to uh, find the uh, the the Rose and Buckle, and then find an inn? Rose and Buckle, then an inn. Okay. Agreed. Yeah, it's it's easy to find. There's a there's a tile hanging outside. Is the shop closed? You there? Uh, the sh the Rose shop is closed. Buckle. But uh, it's, uh, it's right there, sir. Like you were standing next to it. <laughs> this shit. Um, but please, uh, everyone, roll a perception. <laughs> Even keyed on this. Let's say I want to look above the shop to see if there's specifically 14. a light on up there. I got a thirteen. Seven. Dirty twenty. I was so close to a, a crit, uh, but I got a nat one for a total yeah. of six. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know. <laughs> um, Cesar, for sure, like on hearing Bertram say it, you see that there there is motion and and a uh, likely like a, a desk lantern up above the shop. And so you can kind of nudge Bertram and point. So there seems to be someone above the shop, for sure. Someone's yes. home. Yeah. Uh, now, the question is, do we do we just is it important enough? I mean, I would say yes, generally. Now, Bertram, we have we we did kind of start the day off talking about breaking and entering in somewhere, and we haven't done that yet. But shouldn't we save that for the necromancer? This is just a shopkeeper. All right, all right. When he says save it for the necromancer, I sneeze and nod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, Keith. All right, we save it for we save it for the necromancer. I think the dog is loving. <clears throat> as as Keed sneezes, uh, a couple of uh, of Waterdeep uh, uh, city guards walk past and go, oh, uh, is your dog okay? Uh, hay fever. Like, Allergies. Mm. Oh, no, he's right. Mm. I'm wrong. <laughs> the... Allergic to bees. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's not a dog. It's, it's, it's a lot of that going on around here. I, uh, I, will, I will pretend to have a uh, sneezing fit. I'll sneeze like five times in a row. Get away it's from out. her. You're making her upset. It, it's fine. It, it, it uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's uh, contagious to humans. We're, we've all gotten it and we're immune now, but you, you might be SOL. Well, there used to be 10 of us. If you're presenting a problem for the citizens of Waterdeep, we may have to to take you in. No, no, it's fine. Look, I got, I've, I got to hold on. I have one right here. It, it, it's a, 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 hold, where did I put it? Uh, yeah, here we go. I've got a mask for it. There we go. We're gonna take this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. All of you have masks, then. Uh, of course, we all have masks. <laughs> okay. Just, uh, just maybe, maybe you should find yourselves an inn soon. I, I think that maybe uh, you should find. We've, we've found an inn. There's five <laughs> over here. I, we're, I think we're gonna that, stay uh, at one. This business may be maybe closed for the evening, but uh, oh, we are we're friends with uh, with Raphael. We're just gonna pop in, 
Say a good night oh, to him. God, but that long-haired bastard. He's a nice guy, but God, the puns. It, yeah, it just, yeah. It's just like non-stop with that it, guy. It, 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 it truly is. Yeah, just once you, once you get him stop, started, he can't, he can't stop. And he used to have yeah. this glorious beard, and then what a loser just shaved it all off. I, oh, you preach into the choir, brother. All right, well, good day. Um, have, have a good stay here in in Waterdeep. Uh, that's, how do you keep talking? It's, it's our job to talk to people. <laughs> They're kind of arguing as they walk away. <laughs> Thank you for doing your duty. <laughs> they kind of look at you. What the fuck? And then they they just, I just continue. Knock on the door. They won't come back this way. I know they won't. Every time you say hi, they know it's a good location. <laughs> uh, you knock on the door and there is no no answer. Did you really knock? Did you knock loud enough for the second story to hear it? Uh, if he's home... Wait. Hang on. I'm going to look around on the ground and um, any pebbles that I see, I'm going to pick up and drop on uh, Caesar's or Bertram's shoe. Okay, I smart. I don't need to do that. Was good. I turned into a genie and I say, careless. Yeah, you can just knock on the door, on the window. So Alexander, so Alexander careless, yeah. careless formerly had turned into mist and siphoned himself into a bottle. Uh, now careless has turned into a genie and is... Uh, just floating just around. Floating, just floating around. Thoughts? Almighty Reactions? Power. The teeny weeny t- <laughs> Now I float up and knock on the window. I've dealt with a hag before. This isn't the realm of impossibilities for me. Mm-hmm. But it's getting late in the night and I don't know how much longer <laughs> my mental capacity can handle all of the bullshit that he can do in a bottle, flying. Oh, what, he's just getting started. Don't worry. What type of genie does he look like? Since this uh, is the first time I've seen this genie. It, it, it just looks like himself, but from waist down, he is mist, like a swirl of mist. Like your standard Disney genie. Yeah. <laughs> how, how often does he just turn into this? What, once a day? At least once a day. Yep. He must be really old then. Okay. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I've never I, asked him. I don't ask. I don't want to know his life. Well, he's got this one is... bottle. He's got one turning into this. He, he got it. Yeah, he's old. I could do a lot more it's all that. good. <laughs> so you float up and and wrap Knock on the, on the, the window. window there. Just stand. Uh, like it's normal. <laughs> well, absolutely, it's normal. I look uh, for where the door knocker is on the window. Oh, you, uh, there's someone, uh, you kind of see some motion inside, and someone comes over and they draw the curtains and they open the window. And sure enough, uh, you know, nice, uh, beautiful beard, long flowing locks. Uh, uh hey, friends. Uh, uh, Good oh, oh, uh, uh, you are, uh, I knocking on the door, but I don't think you could hear us. What, what? No, no. I, 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 we're closed uh, for for the evening. Uh, what? What? What can I do for you, friend? Uh, we need some information. Um, my friends would like to talk to you as well, but they're down there. He oh, he wait. looks he looks down. Uh, what? Well, I I I, they, I, 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 I sh- wag my tail, and I go. Uh, I, I I uh, I probably can't get up this way. Uh, so I'll meet you downstairs. Sure. Uh, uh, great. Okay. He closes the window and, um, hoping that someone will evaluate my, <laughs> my Ryan. Um, it's fantastic. Spot on. It's so good. <laughs> and, uh, he comes down and stay in he, he comes downstairs and, uh, you hear the, the locks on the door and he opens it up. Uh, uh, uh friends, uh, uh, come in. I, I, I don't, uh, I, I don't normally uh, do things after hours, but uh, uh, do you have leather needs? Uh, I just don't answer that. try not <laughs> to take don't too that. much of your time. Alexander, keep your mouth shut. Um, <laughs> we're here regarding... What? Uh, the dog. 
I'm inside near wherever, you know, as far in as I he, can get without. If him. you're, if you have passed him, he has sat down and like fucking scooped you up and it's just like, <laughs> Who's your good he, poppers? he has Who's forgotten your poppers? that the rest of the party exists. And now like, like consent is not even a word he knows, but <laughs> that he's like, 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 you just all kinds of belly pats and rubs, and he's just rubbing his face on you and making dog noises. I this is going to be along. great. Uh, I played along. Man, the only thing better would be I as if you'd shifted out everything. of wild shape. If you'd shifted <laughs> out, and then you suddenly he's there doing that with a centaur. <laughs> best stream no, ever. I forgot That's you were a centaur, later. man. <laughs> <laughs> That's for later. That's for later. Uh, <laughs> I, I will look his face and everything. And uh, he is, he's so into it. Uh, uh, this is, this is great. What can I, do you, do you need like a, a collar? He starts looking, there's no collar. Obviously, uh, you guys are here for a collar, uh, an emergency yep. collar for your dog. Yes. Uh, we got to keep this one on a tight leash. So that way she uh, doesn't spread anything through the city. Uh, yes. Through the city. And oh, I'm you're just a good to... runner, aren't you? You're just a big runner. I'm going to sneeze at Alexander. <laughs> oh, the, the, the puffer's got the nose, huh? Oh, yeah. Back to belly rubs, trying to soothe your belly rubs to soothe your nose for some reason, but it's what dog owners do. So, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Raphael, we're hoping you could help us with uh, with some information that we're looking for. Uh, oh, oh yeah yeah no, uh, I can I uh, several different colors of leather and and buckles I can make the he stands up and starts like moving through his shop uh, hold, 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 hold collar on. yeah hold on just relax for a minute come come sit and, uh, yeah. and chat chat with us uh, yeah sure okay what, yeah. what uh, what's what's going on <laughs> um do you need put me down <laughs> What's Did that? he put me down? Sorry. Yeah, he, he yeah he never picked oh. you up. He he was he was on the ground with you and then stood up oh. to go away and then and then Bertram called him. Back. Oh, I fully yeah. thought he was holding like a oh, yeah. yeah. blood. No, 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 no. Okay, is he sitting down now? Because I will just sit on his foot. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll say that he he sits in a chair and you guys all move into the door and close it behind you so it's not some strange looking thing. Yeah. But yeah, he's Same. he's in a chair and you're on the foot and he is just like like oh I don't go popper. Yeah, yeah, what do you guys need? Yeah, Cesar, what's the guy's what's the guy's name? Which guy? The the one that we're look actively looking for. Yeah. Um the uh, guy who owns your building. Vialis right? uh yellow yellow crest. That's oh, the one. Uh, yeah, yeah, Lord Lord Vialis, yeah. Yeah, I mean uh, yeah. I know him. <laughs> We need to find him. Well, I mean, he own he owns. I don't I don't know him. It's not like we're friends, but I mean, he does own. He yeah. uh, he used to live here. We need to find him. We're looking. He for used him. to. Li- we used to li- he used to live here in Waterdeep. Ah, all right. I just yes. met in this building. All right. No. Oh no, Lord Phyllis would never live in a place like this. Looks pretty nice to me. I'm not saying, don't say yourself short. It's a good shop. We get the equation you got here. I, right? Right? <laughs> dude, dude Rod, Rodney, it seems like a betrayal. <laughs> it really does, but you just, sometimes you got to commit to it. And I love you, Ryan. I'm sorry. Right? This is a fucking great place, man. Um, I mean, you know, he... Uh, you seem really uh, I, 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 <laughs> Yeah, you too. I, I I haven't I, I haven't seen him in oh gosh I guess since the whole ooh, whole murder thing happened uh, we, just, we just need to know where he lives because yeah how do you pay how do you pay rent uh well he, he's he sends his guy uh uh, uh feral he he it is it's a he's he's a, an elf that comes feral yeah uh, f a e r l again screw you wizards for those <laughs> kinds of names. Um, F-A-E-R-L? F-A-E-R-L, yes. Feral. Right. Right, right? Um, Is that racist? That doesn't feel right to me. <laughs> <laughs> An elf named Feral? I don't I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> I think it should be probably pronounced Feral. Feral? With, yeah, Feral. feral? I, I don't feral? know, though. It's, 
uh, but yeah, yeah, he, he comes uh, 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 about every ten day to uh, to to collect uh, to collect the profits and to, and to check the books and just, you know to make sure everything's in order. Uh, he's kind of a douche, but uh, when do you do next? Uh, what what uh, day sh- today? Uh, 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 well, today is. I don't actually know the days of the week in D and D. Sorry. Uh, it's Fantasy uh, Wednesday. In, it's Fantasy <laughs> Wednesday. Uh, he should be he should be here uh, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow morning, maybe tomorrow midday. It it, it kind of varies when he shows up, but could but, we wait but, for? But, him? Yeah. Well, my point is, do you know uh, where he lives? Do I know where who lives? Feral? Yeah, your boss. Well, Feral's not my boss. Lord yeah. Vialis is my boss. Yeah, him. Do you know where he lives? Uh, I don't, uh, but I do know that Furl lives in Greenfast. It does live so, in Greenfast. Uh, but yeah, uh, he should be here. He should be here tomorrow. Uh, what do you say? Is it late morning or, or afternoon? Have you heard any news or, or rumors coming or coming out of the Greenfast area? No, it's just kind of a kind of a podunk little town i mean it's, it's nothing like water deep um we've just heard that they've been having some troubles along the road down there it's oh interesting no. that you it's yeah we just we just talked to it's interesting that you brought it up green fast it's you're the second person to mention that to us tonight well it's who weird. was the first uh, just, just some guy we we're walking we we're just chatting he's sharing some rumors around town you know that kind of thing he's instantly suspicious of you saying that yeah, it's because I'm a bad I liar. I am going to, uh, <laughs> I'm going to lick his hand enthusiastically and wag my tail oh, and oh. entice some more scritches. <laughs> you do, and that instantly robs him of the suspicion he had of Bertram. Nice, nicely done to diffuse that. Um. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, are are, are you looking? F- for for a collar still, or do you want like a collar and a leash, or let's just get the collar. What about magical level? And, uh, yeah. and, and, uh, can the collar expand and shrink? Can we can we get that kind of collar? Uh, Is that well, going to cost I, extra? I, I mean, if if it gets a little, if it gets wet, it'll shrink a little. But uh, well, she turns it, you, into a bed. Well, you've this, seen you've seen like leather. Gets you've a seen little leather bit bigger. You've seen leather before, right? right. Is it is, what, what yeah. it, is it is it adjustable? Is what he means? Like get like a like two bands on it with a little hook thing on it, and you can adjust it to to go bigger or smaller. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, <laughs> of course, it's that. Might want to make it go pretty big. Can it go around oh. that size and like a human uh, neck? <laughs> Those are the same size of collars. Oh, then she don't need to make a collar uh, then. It's still gonna you, work. No, no, I uh around a warg's head as well. It's pretty big. I I'm or not here. To a bear. I'm not here to yuck your yums. Uh I'll, I'll make you the collar and and we'll we'll settle up on on that. Uh, uh and he he kind of gives there's some more screechy scratches and then gets up and Goes and gets his tools and uh, and starts cutting a, 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 a strip of very nice looking leather, and finding the the buckles and stuff. So he's a little bit away, and you guys have a moment to talk where he can't easily hear you. I mean, so we're going to Green Fast, right? Do we uh, are we gonna are we gonna wait for this guy tomorrow, or we just, she, just that's what that's what my initial thought was. We we sit we sit here wait for the man to show up tomorrow and then follow him. To wherever he's going, or we just head to Greenfast tomorrow morning and find him. I say we could just wait outside the city on the road from Greenfast and get him on the way into the city. But we don't know what he looks like. Yeah, it's true. I mean, we talk stay. To Raf- we- talk to Raphael. We can get a get an idea of what he looks like. Yeah, but what if we jump the wrong person, and then in which case we're in. Just Creek. Why so we... then it's a Wednesday. Like, we'll jump the next person. It doesn't matter. It's a Wednesday for you if that happens? Uh, I'm going to do a very quiet little huff and All right. uh, thwack my tail against the floor a couple of times. 
Right. So. It, oh, I know, Pop. I'm almost. I, I just a minute. I'm almost there. Right. So if we we stay here, we know exactly who the man is. Right. Probably keep this guy from paying taxes from a mass murderer, slash cultist, and then we follow follow him slash make him take us to uh, to Greenfast. Yeah, we could keep we could stake out we could stake out the place and then just follow him as he leaves. We could find the deeds. That Rewrite them in on. Oh, Karen, you don't have the focus to be a landlord. Okay. Also, deeds don't have pictures on them. I mean, you we can, can always hire a property pictures. manager. It's fine. <laughs> More importantly, please let me know time. if I need to if I need to start doing a real estate uh, <laughs> rules for D and D because I will. Yep. More importantly. We were talking about the collar and stuff, and it reminded me of this time when I was in Neverwinter. And you see what I did with um, our other warlock friend. I can't remember her name. And uh, I turned a rat once into a Tyrannosaurus Rex in Neverwinter. It was so funny. It's not where I thought the story was going to go, but I don't hate it. <laughs> I'm on the same page with you. I did not see this going the way that it is. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll, yeah. So, should we go get? About this time, Raphael comes back over with the collar and is is fitting it onto Keed and and oh yes, I know. It's, it's, is that is that is that too tight? I, okay, I got to put another put another hole in I it. I lick uh, you, his face while he's doing that. Uh, <laughs> he's 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 into it, and then he's trying to still work, and he's like, uh, uh. Uh, 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 We're all in uh, agreement. Uh, We're going to find an inn and stay in town tonight and worry about. Oh, great. Plans. Oh, yeah. This oh, this is a, uh, this is a great town. The, the inns around here are really nice. Yeah, we saw five of them on the way in. Mm -hmm. Just over <laughs> here. Yeah, I, right. I know. Oh, God, this place is great. Why? Right, where does Effin go? Uh... <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, so, uh... How much do we owe you? Uh, do you want, like, a, a name stamped on it or anything? Or just, just plain? We should probably put her, her name on it. What do you think, uh, Keed? Bluff. Do you, do you want your name on it? Bluff. And I, I lick at... I start to <laughs> look like I'm going to go lick her. Uh, okay, and so he, he takes it off and... Yeah, let's, a, put, her, let's and, put her name on it. And and what's and what's the name? Keed. Keed. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's K E I D. Keed. Keed. That's, that's the one. Ah, uh, uh, sure. Uh, yeah, just hang on. And he goes back and gets the stamps, and you can hear him hammering to, to do the stamping on the collar. Um. Anything else uh, from your grand plans while he's finishing the collar? No, so I think, thinking, what if we find a rat? <laughs> uh, put a pin on that plan for right now. So we're all going to stay here tonight. Not here, but we're going to stay in town. We're going to stake out the place. Near here, yeah. Yeah. And then follow... What's his face? I don't remember his name. He already Feral. told me. Feral. 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 That's a Feral. hard... Yep. Feral, Feral like a dog. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. And we'll follow him out, and then we'll get him out of town. Yeah, this uh, this is what we agree on. Jump him. Cut, kill, yeah. The rat can be outside of town, so you might want to catch one tonight and keep it as a friend. Um. Yeah, he uh, he comes back and and he has the collar. It actually is actually quite quite lovely. Um, and he's done just just a little bit of kind of quick leather dye on it, so the the name Keed actually really stands out well. And uh, he puts the collar back on, uh, and it's like, ah, okay, that's that's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be like two gold. Um, is that? Is, is I that, got that, this. That... And I'll slam two cold onto the table. I'm gonna put uh, two more on top of it, like. Uh, oh, oh my! Oh no! It's it's like huge. Huge. I'm Good. going to <laughs> jump on him and lick his, you know, hands and and stuff like that. Oh, I know you love it so much, don't you? Oh, you're just the best. 
I, I it, really, it's only the two. I, 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 get, I, I can't get, accept get, this. Get, get, take Look, hot... you, d- yeah, don't undervalue your work like that. It's. <sighs> I under- know. I know. I. I'll take it. It's just it's hard. Um, thank you, friends. Um, if there's anything else, uh, just let me know. You've been a great help. Uh, thanks. Oh, I do have one more question for you. I'm sorry. One yeah. More. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What time does he normally show up when he comes by every 10 days? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's usually like late morning or, or, or just afternoon. Uh, you know, it just, it depends on if, if he's like, I don't know what drinking or a whoring or do whatever and whatever feral does. Does he normally smell like booze when he comes over here? Well, between me and you, I try not to get that close to him. You stink, does he? Like the old dead. Does he stink like dead people? He stinks like dead people. Is he undead? No, I didn't think they could go out in the sun. I mean, mean, he's got a he's got a big ass red hat, but he's always out in the sun when I see him. Big red hat. Big ass red hat. (laughs) Yeah. Well, yeah, it's you can't miss it. He's he's a he's a wood elf. With with light bl- pale blue skin and a big ass red hat, I mean, that uh, again. Again, I, I'm not a, I'm not a fashion expert. I'm a leather worker, but like really, light light blue and red. Doesn't leather working take some fashion sense though? You're not wrong about that. <laughs> 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 and with that I will leave the building <laughs> uh, thanks again okay. for all your help Raphael yeah uh, yeah, yeah no problem thank, hey, hey thanks for stopping by <laughs> can't <laughs> and you guys are out and he closes the door and you uh, you have those five ends to choose from you, uh, you may take your pick they all seem to be basically about the same. Um, they uh, they all offer spacious rooms. Are we sharing a room or are we taking separate that point, rooms? I am going to um, grab a scissor by the uh, pant leg and take him into an alley and shake my neck. Yep. Nope. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. She wants it tighter. <laughs> and I'm going to I don't even to, have music for this wait a minute <laughs> I'm going to shift back into my uh, natural form weird day for you huh it's Nazi I need to I need to wash my mouth <laughs> <laughs> no you know you know what it, 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 he, he didn't even he wasn't even like weird it was he kind of smelled like leather he um, tasted like these the the solutions that uh, the leather no, has been put no, no 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 he's not a tanner he's only a leather worker had you gone to the tannery that would have been a different story well <laughs> then bad. either that either that or he uses some really strong soap on his hands yeah he's, that he's might very, be true he, yeah he's a very he's very clean because it's a you're tannin work. that's urine isn't it yeah yes um, yep uh, that at, at the best, it's like brains and yeah. your all kinds of stuff. In a yeah, tannery. yeah. I'm glad you guys didn't pick a tannery to go to. Yep. <laughs> no. Why yeah. I didn't? Why I didn't? I didn't give you the choice to go to one. Uh, yeah. So you're. Uh, so, so do you two come back from the alley? Yeah. Yeah. The, right. Do you even try to see if the collar fits her? No, she wanted it off, so I didn't want to. Well, I had it back to her. I, I will. I, I'll take it and I'll. Um wrap it around my forearm and buckle it there like a bracelet. Uh, you how, wrap it around a, a couple times? Yeah. How big a dog were you? A you said bloodhound. A blood, a, yeah, you said mm-hmm. a bloodhound. So a, a, a neck on a bloodhound, it's going to be similar to a neck on a person. It's not yes, like you're, but I'm not going to like put it on a, my neck. It's not like it's, you're a dire wolf or something. No. I tried. I'm not going to put it on my neck. to get it that big. Okay. Because right, I fair. am... A person. 
Jesus. Not a child and of the 80s. As a racist, <laughs> it's a, look. I thought about getting a studs for you, but it, I just couldn't ask him to do it within such a short time frame. <laughs> no, that makes sense. That absolutely makes sense. So yeah, you guys can you you can you can find a place uh, with ground floor. Is lodging. there any chance that there's an inn that has a view of the front door of his shop? Uh oh, sadly no. No, his his shop is turned like on Spoils Alley on yeah. that map. So they're they're all kind of turned together. Oh, the, okay, um, okay. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's maybe like a like a block and a half, two blocks away to the that pocket of inns that you found. All okay. right. So yeah, we'll have to uh, get up early and just try to it. Just as we're leaving, is there any place nearby that we could casually loiter for, for the morning to keep an eye on his shop? Well, I could always shift into I don't know an alley cat and hang out. Oh, or... we could use the collar again. Yeah. Or I could be the dog again, or, you know, I could go in there looking for replacement bags. And I gesture at my my pouches and belts that are hanging off of the front half of my horse torso. Your horso, as it were. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah, you would raise the least amount of suspicion because he ain't seen you before. That is a good point. And I would have to be there for sizing and such. Yeah, and what I what I will say in answer to your question, Bertram, uh, there's not there's not like a necessarily a lottery place, but you do see a couple of very small food carts that are packing up and and kind of moving out. So there's probably like a food cart you could you guys could stand or, or you know get some food and hang out in that general vicinity if you yeah. chose to. Okay. Has anybody got any sandpaper? I got a bottle of wine and I'm gonna pull out the one that I took from the house. <laughs> uh, careless, it's, careless. It's, it's one it's one with that picture that you really oh, liked on I it. Like. I've, I've got, got woodcarver's tools. I probably do have some some bits of sandpaper in there. Yeah. I would, I would say All that right, that's probably true. Uh, may I use some of that? Because I want to destroy my uh, pouches to give me reason to be there. To distress them a little bit? Yeah. Or just don't uh, wear the pouches. Maybe a little. For some. Well, I've got to have a valid reason to be there. Yeah. Not having and pouches is not valid having pouches. And our... Yes, <laughs> but having. Uh, we could hold your pouches for you. Yeah, don't destroy your lovely pouches that you already have. Just go yeah. buy some. But I'm going and buying new ones. I'm already scratching at one with a knife. Then you can have <laughs> extra pouches. See, well, at, now at you gotta get this, a new pouch either way. At the end of this, though, Keith just looks super badass with these scuffed up pouches. So <laughs> it's like, oh man, she's been through some shit. Uh, all right. Anything else that you guys would like to do? Uh, Actually, that is we... a brilliant idea, Z. He, he said, "Wild well, shape back into a dog and tear my pouches up." <laughs> so, what are you doing with all the stuff in your pouches? Um, That's ruined. There's just <laughs> spell, com- <laughs> spell components oh, scattered shit. around the alley. Well, like, yeah. actually, I don't use a lot of spell components. I use um. Do you have a spell um, focus? Yeah. A, dru- a druidic focus? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll put most of it into one pouch, leave that one undamaged, and hand it to Caesar to hold while, while inside the store. Got it. Okay. Uh, awesome. Yeah, so you guys, uh, you, you, you find a room, you do some pouch distressing, and the 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 neighbors in the uh the rooms near yours are like what the hell is going on or it's like beating on the wall get a room you two they've got a room harry shut the fuck up <laughs> i'd be back <laughs> um yeah you so you start that war that goes on for about 20, 20 25 minutes <laughs> no margaret we have to get the last pound 
Oh, I bet man. you do. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and so I will say that we are going to end the stream here tonight. Um, mm. Make sure that you get a long rest. Yeah. Uh, when we pick back up, it will be the morning and you will have your distressed bags and you can then plan your assassination, stakeout. your stakeout, your following this guy home to kidnap him, whatever it is you're going to do, I'm sure is completely morally sound. What's the so, red hat thing? You guys went, oh, okay. And I was like, oh, what's that mean? Well, now we have a distinctive feature oh. to look for yeah. in the servant. We didn't have a description or anything. We just had Elf. Now he's got he's a wood elf with a big ass hat. Yeah. With light blue skin. A big ass hat. I was going to say, <laughs> um, you guys don't get the whole picture. Imagine a, a rat turning into a Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex. And I'm telling still, you, we can do that. It's just got to be outside of town. But outside still thinking it's a rat. It's petrified of everyone. And all of a sudden, everyone can see him. And he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And this Tyrannosaurus Rex <laughs> is running around, running from everything. Roll a persuasion, careless persuasion. Uh, natural, uh, wait, a dirty twenty. Ten plus ten. All right, so check it out. This idea of his is crazy, but <laughs> the more he talks about it. Yeah, the more it, fun it does kind of sound. It does sound like it does, like legit. No, I'm, so I, I'm not. I'm what? not gonna make you make a decision, but I'm just letting you know that the more he talks about it, the funnier it sounds. There will come well, a time. You know what? What if I learn all about the T Rexes and wild shape into one at some point? Hold on, hold on, hold on here, hold on here. I could just turn you into one. It doesn't matter. No, 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 no. no, no. We're, not, we're not talking about T-Rex or T-Rex. We're talking about T-Rex and T-Rex. And that is where we're going to end the stream tonight. That's such a better spot than I had picked originally. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching and sticking with us.